rolling yet. We pray this to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rukhah, Kodash. Give you double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone to teach us one of the truth. And um, uh, to that, to the uh, Popping off, as they, as the elders him say, popping off like popcorn. Yeah, reading on. So we're occupied in the meditation of thereof. We'll seek out the wisdom of all of the ancients, the wisdom of all, all of the ancients, our forefathers. Yeah, uh, which are us, our back here in the spirit, man, bringing out that wisdom, right? Wisdom and knowledge is the um, stability, of, stability of, our times. of this time, our times past, present and future and it was only the wisdom why um, wisdom that got us through right no matter what it could have been man many are the um, many are the tribulation of the righteous but out of them he delivers the, he delivers us all so it's only the wisdom that carried us through math uh, you can talk about Matthew the gospels right the wisdom of those times right nation rising up against nations kingdoms against kingdoms uh, the twelve apostles Daniel Right? It's the Daniel the wisdom that the Most High gave Daniel via his guiding angel uh, Gabriel that got him through those times. The times of um, those, um, the, 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 the time of the, the golden, the golden, the golden, um, ancient, the ancient, you've got the, you the Medes, you've got the Persians, you've got the, the, the Romans, the ancient both Babylonians. That's it. Yeah. Which is, which is, represents the gold, gold on the image. So it was the wisdom that um, preserved Daniel through those times. Right? Um, let's carry on. How far did you get into uh, Yeah, read, read it from the top. Surah 39 from verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies. Yeah, wisdom of all the ancients. Daniel, we mentioned Daniel, um, um, Solomon, or Solomon or, or wisdom of the ancients, we we'll read about Solomon, and Proverbs, or Proverbs, wisdom of Solomon, right, and we get, um, we get revived once again, and renewed once again, going back into this, meditating upon this wisdom, right, and all this, and be occupied in prophecy, which gives us prophecy, and the breakdown and the understanding of prophecy. So in order for us to do that, we have to be occupied in prophecy, <laughs> right, in this time. <clears throat> so someone get, um, we're going to go straight into some prophecy, man. Revelation chapter 13. Uh, uh, go straight to 13. Uh, Revelation 13 and 13. Yeah, Revelation chapter 13 and verses 16. Uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 16 and he calls a fool both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead yeah. read that again from the top Revelation 13 and 16 and he calls a fool both small and great yeah so all are both small and great man yeah we're talking about um, prophecy now getting to that straight into the prophecy the time we're living in yeah read, read on rich and poor Free and bond 
to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Yeah, with that mark, man. We know that it's that paragma, the puncher. Yeah, the paragma. When you look it up into the, the Greek, you can get the full, the full yes. understanding of it. Yeah, puncher or that mark. It's gonna go on. It's gonna go on. Can Verse 17, it? and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, because that mark. Is, um, is basically you're going to be a part of this kingdom, part of this system. You're being branded, just like you know, on the farmer, the cattle, they, bra they, they brand their cattle, the pigs, the cows, they're all, they're all known for having brands. So that anybody that comes up, any former far farmer or colleague, know that that set of, um, set of cattle belongs to that farmer. So this is what E, E, right, the modern day, um, serpent wants to do to his people. Right? This this people. Read that again. Revelation 13, 17. 17. And that no man might buy or sell. Yeah, because if you get that brand, that mark, right? If you don't, if you don't get that mark or that brand, or that brand you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. Yeah, you, you're going to be branded, you're going to be labeled, you're going to have certain privileges that they're, that they're well aware of. Right, carnal privileges to get certain things. But right, is there a catch? Is there a catch? Read on. Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah. So if you have that that mark or the number of, his, of that uh, mark, 666, which is the mark of the beast, you're branded, you're branded, you're marked. Alright? You're separated. Alright? Uh, let's read um, turn over the page to Revelation chapter 19. Established that the mark is the mark of the beast, which is that paragma, which means the puncher, the pierce of the puncher. Right? This is Revelation 19, verse 20. And the beast was taken with and with him the false prophet that wrote miracles before before him. Oh yeah, because we had that um a little while ago now, the um the Elon Musk uh, with the um neural link thing. Right? That woman I, don't, I haven't heard from her, I haven't seen her, but apparently this ain't nothing new, this ain't nothing new. This, this, this thing has been rehearsed, if you like, practiced behind the scenes. We're just hearing of the, this woman, this, the, the results of this so-called operation, the blue early. But this is a miracle, she got in her brain, which um, I'm, I've always been doubtful of, um, I've always been doubtful of her, I've always put in our trust yeah. system. It's on that, it's, no, it's on that channel. No, I don't. We don't. No, no. we're supposed to be on London Fog because it's bar. That's why. Absolutely right. right. But, but when we're going live, it's not showing live on there. The trial again, brother. Some form of drug to get the body to, to accept or not reject the reject the object. But the point we're changing is that this, this is what looked upon, uh, you know, looked upon and admired great admiration that this is something of something new in the earth, a miracle, so to speak. Yeah, 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 you know. Revelation 19 verse 20, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrote miracles before him, with which he deceived them, that he received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire, Burning with brimstone. Why? Right. Burning with brimstone. Internet's yeah. working. So that was, um, they were deceived, man. It says they probably that, that moved miracle before him with, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and then oh, that were to his image, right? Oh, image oh, image. oh, okay. That might be the problem if we're both going live on the same page. Right, tell him I'll do it on his page. Then. Primarily, you've got the I, RFI, um, that money system, uh, the, NHH system, the Babylonian system or the police system, the Centrinius system, the fire brigade, the all the system, the economy, the economic system, right? That's the system and 
for those that worship this system are going to be marked by this system. And they show who side that they're on, right? You get that mark. And read, uh, carry on reading in um, 20. I'll read it, I'll read it. Uh, I'll read it. That all miracle before him with which he received them that had received the mark of the beast, right? So you have the system, right? Which is the image. And then you've got the beast, which is the revived Roman Empire. Right? So you, you, you've taken your stand, you've taken the side that you're on, that's the team that you say you want to be about, about you want to support, so you, that's the side that you're going to, um, you represent, right? Which is the mark of the beast. You know if so if you take the mark of the beast, you, you show him what side you're on, and who you represent. And them that worship his image, the image that we looked at is mentioned in the system, uh, the economic system, the Babylonian system, the fire brigade, the NHS, Hunting the pharmaceutical, that's the system that is um, worshipped and all around the world. You know, you can even talk about the uh, traveling that many people come from other countries and say that this is the best um, system you know, in the world over here in Babylon and in America. Far as being able to go places and be free. So that's the that's the image of the beast and, and the Roman revived Roman Empire, which this is it today, is the beast. So we, we're taking our stand. Uh, 21. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Yeah, so turn over the page to uh, Revelation chapter 20 and read 4. Anybody, yeah? Verse 4. Yeah. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High. Right. So, okay, so it's going to be a beheading, man. Some people are going to have to, may have to be beheaded. Right? You hear about the, um, those, um, what do you call it? Um, guillotines. The guillotines. And they've got, they also got the, um, the, the, the camps. The, um, FEMA camps, doesn't it? The FEMA camps. I remember that goes back to years, man. Two, around 2010, they were showing about all the fever camps. There are certain places out there in certain desert lands, and also the guillotines too, right? That have, that have been there, just sitting there. See, that's what they're talking about, man. Revelation chapter 20, talking about and in four. So then I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of your holy shrine. But also these thrones. Also, for those that some some may be um, beheaded, some may not be beheaded. Right? Uh, read on in um, verse four. Uh, that were beheaded for the witness of Yahusha and the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast. Yeah, beheaded for the, uh, the word of the Most High, just speaking in truth, man. It's one hundred percent truth, man. You know, you know what they call that? The stuff that's going against the, um, the government. Tradition, tradition, tradition. You know. That's what the most size will is that some of us have to be and treated or whatever. That's what the most size will is that some of us have to face that, either the guillotines or being uh, revelations, revelations chapter two. Someone bring that out. We'll come back to you. I thought it was revelations. Brothers, also brothers too, have 
have testimonies. I myself, some brothers here have testimonies that being, um, being locked up, but it's true, just speaking his word. You know, in a simple, corrupt, wicked kingdom, right? They say, what, is, what they say, um, the truth is a truth is an offense. You know? It's a revelation 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, talking about being patient, you know. This is this is this truth is a is um uh, we're slaves of hope. So talk about being patient. We have to be patient. <laughs> you want to get the crown, right? If, you, if you're in a marathon run, you shall always like to quote. Uh, it's not it's not um uh, um a hundred meter dash. Right, it's, it's, it's all about being explosive, and, you know, around about nine, 10 seconds, on average around 10 seconds. You know, you build up all your, um, you know, you build up all that strength, all that training, for 10 seconds of explosion, blow it out the water. Right, it's got, it's got a 10, it's got a 100 meter dash, it's got a 200 meter dash, around about 21 seconds. It's got a, a 500 meter jog, or it's got a um, 100 meter, it's not a, um, 800 meter jog or 1500 meter right this is a marathon man so in, in marathon it's also patience biding your time right holy for fluids people are taking in their gold fluids in our case we have to take in the holy spirit of the lord man that's our uh, high generation uh, rehydration spirit of the lord we have a little pit stop but you can have a pit stop it's all right yeah if you have a pit stop in a marathon it's all right it's all Thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee yeah. from the hour of temptation. Yeah, that's why we want to keep this, this patience, man. So that the Most High will keep us, you know, in our, in His mind. Right? With, with, and it goes on to read. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that yeah. dwell upon the earth. It's going to come upon all the world, man. We're, and we will be in trial. trial. Two thirds of being tried. Yeah. E, Esau, so called white people. The other nations, the Goyim nations, are being tried. You know, the, the European nations, they're all being tried. And now they're talking about um, sending money, sending um, aid, pouring aid over to the you know, over here in, the, in the Syria, and Gaza, right? Yeah, so talking about being tried, the whole world being tried, we're being tried. Right? But with their trial, I think uh, one of the pallets in the jungle. Daniel chapter 12, uh, 9 and 10, 9 and 12. 
No, no, no. Daniel's 9 and 12. Well, you can get 9 and 12. Yeah, Daniel's 9 and 12. Anybody, whoever gets it. Who's Moses as well? No, no, I misspoke. Um, well, Daniel's chapter 9 and 12. Hold that one, hold that one. So, there's nothing, there's no comparison, man. Yeah, so a couple of pallets dropped on the stuff. I was laughing, what you know. <laughs> Uh, jumped on those um, starving people over there. Yeah, we can laugh, man. It's all right because you know what? Your whole shy. Your whole why your whole shy laughs. He's laughing up in the heavens, man. Right? All the things that you've done to us, making mockery. Why don't you people get involved in what's going on? We don't get involved because people we got off our flights to contend with, and no one came to our aid. Anybody got it? Let me know when you got it. No one came. We got we're contending with our own flight, man. That's why we're out here, right? Before we this work. Daniel chapter 9 verse 12 says, And he which hath confirmed his words which he spake against us, and against our judges that have judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have yeah. not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Here you go. Right? Under the whole heaven has not been done to what have been done to Jerusalem. So I've got this black pastor here. Black pastor is called for Gaza uh, Seize Fire. And I was watching this one. Anyway, and I calmed down a lot. You know. I usually get up and walk out the room or eat some television sometimes, get ripped, get mashed up. But this black black um black pastor, they're saying they're calling for black pastors, this, this black pastor is speaking out. The people get should get involved in what's going on over there in Gaza, get involved, say your opinion, support them. And they really got this guy, really got him cooling, man. A lot, a lot of those black pastors got him cooling for this. Which said, nothing has been done, man. You don't want to get bubble shining. Daniel chapter 9, verse 12 again. And he have confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us right. by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven hath not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Yeah. Not been done, has been done to Yashu Allah, so called black people. We've got the elect of those people. Has not been done to any other nation but us. Under the whole heaven, which means everybody's aware of it, everybody knows about it. You know, that's why they used to say, pull up your bootstraps, right? Get on with it, keep it moving, you know. In the 60s, in the 50s, in the 70s, even, even now, to speak to certain people, <coughs> certain particular Edomites, right? And definitely a lot of those are elites. Pull up your boots, that's, that's their spirit. And they don't even have to say it, we know that's what they're saying in their spirit anyway. You know, keep, on, keep it moving, or you've got a chip on your shoulder. In certain places, they used to say that all the time in the East End, man. It's the old East End, old East End saying. You know, we're well aware of that, right? That by God, we die yeah, by God. Yeah. We know about it, we know about it, right? But when the scriptures speak, right, there's no, in, there's no disputing, there's no, oh, you've got a chip on your shoulder call it bygones be bygones or pull up your boot straps right we're pushing this vibration at me right and yeah you will acknowledge us you will acknowledge us right now you want to act like oh it's nothing these people just out there got a chip on their shoulder some of us have been arrested for this right that's the, that's what the most high clients that's our, if that's what he wills for us to do revelation Revelation 3 and 10, yeah. because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Yeah, because we keep the word of the most high patience, man. Yeah, anything that we what come to what he wants us to go through, we'll go through. There's nothing that he, there's nothing that he can do. Um, someone get that one. Um, first Corinthians um, 10 and 13. Forever, whether you like it or not, and, and it's a place that we just, I've said that on purpose. 
Because you, you don't like the idea that we could be made to live up. So passing you is the triumph of the wicked is sharp. The triumph of the wicked is sharp. Right. This is the book of First Corinthians 10, verse 13. When you find it, let me, anytime you find it, always let me know. Okay, okay brother. They have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. Right. Yeah, there's no temptation taken us such as is common to man. Now, I mentioned everything that's happened to us is worldwide. You know, the world knows them. The whole world is, is knowledge. No, they know about slavery. Right? They hear it all the time. They, don't, they um, refuse to teach it in the schools. Right? They want to talk about this um, a woke, a woke generation, which means they don't want to talk about our history. Right? Because it, you know, it's going to awaken people. So it, the whole, all the other nations know about it in their history books. Right? The Jim Crow, the lynching, the castrating, the alligator bait that they done to the children to lure the alligators to get, so that they can get their alligator skin. They need to put the children in the in the lakes. And we're going to, all this is going to keep on coming out. Right? Yashua Allah is here forever. So this story, this story that you don't want to hear it anymore of, is going to come out and it's going to get louder and louder and louder until it bursts your eardrums. So we do this. Yeah, really, brother. Right. They have no temptation taken you, but such as in is common to man. But the Lord our power is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Yeah. So we, we do it. You know, we go all out of our way, all out of our way to do this, man. We, 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 we know whatever individual thing that we have to go through, that we have to suffer, or collective thing that we have to go through, we have to suffer. Most of us said, he, he, he knows we can bear it. All right? It's not beyond our ability to bear it. This is all part of the training, the strengthening, which is going to increase our, um, let's call that, um, uh, anyway, read that bit of the word, my country. Finish up reading that. Uh, back to Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, so will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, all the world's being tried, man. That's why you see Eve, the so circle white people shuffling around, uh, looking for food in the dustbins. The uh, elder apostle to, to hard on that video of uh, this, this Eve of my used to say that they're down bad. So we know about being down bad. We feel for our people. We love when we see this we woman going in, um, coming out of Walmart, shuffling around, around. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devoured thee shall be devoured. Yeah. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Yeah. Every one of them. Hold that. Yeah, I think they, they, I was watching the news last night. So get the latest one anyway. Huh? There's no latest than that. But I was watching the news. Yeah, two days ago. So boy, this this thing they're trying to get 
Jake, and I, and I was pissed off about that, man. We've got our own plights to worry about, man. Yeah. Right? Everyone, so every one of you, we just read it. Right? Every one of you, uh, Jer is that Jeremiah? Jeremiah. Yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah. 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 Every one of them are going to be rich and smart. Youths yeah. as well. Some people get upset when you, when you bring up youths. But youths, you too, all they are is spirits coming back, man. That's all they are. You know what I mean? So, every one of them shall go and taste a little bit of, I say a little bit, they're going to taste the fullness of captivity, slavery, getting whipped as well, right? We're going to have to drink that crap. All the, all the drays, I think that's in uh, Lamentation, the whole of the drays they're going to bring out, man, right? they're going to they're gonna have to um, drink up, which means all the little bits and pieces in the bottom, bottom of the cup, everything, right? Ch children and art. Right, the scriptures back that up. Right, as you say this, brother, because you know we we speak according to not our vain interpretation. We speak according to the scriptures. Right, right. John eight verse thirty two, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah. So we're free now. We're free now. All we've got to do is continue our endure to the end. The truth woke us up to the plight that we were once in. We're coming out of the curses. Uh, that goes into Deuteronomy thirteen seven. We, we now know we're coming out of it. We now know the curses are going up on you. That's why we're seeing all these TikTok videos of Edomite women coming up in, you know, like, in the camera, seeing if they can try and do their, um, what they call it, white privilege <laughs> and get, a lot of them do that. They say, oh, I'm working two jobs. A lot of them do that because they want to get crowdfunding. That's why they do that. They do that. A lot of them may get crowdfunding well, support for their, you know, for their needs. But that, that crowdfunding or that white privilege, people are feeling less and less Second Thessalonians 1 verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing Ooh. that the Lord to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yeah, it is a righteous thing, man. Just like what happened in um, the time of um, um, Jonah. Jonah. <laughs> this is the last time we went into Jonah. Uh, Jonah was bucking up a little bit, but he, at, the end, at the end of it, he realized, man, all that bucking up I'm doing, trying to avoid going to Nineveh. Corrupt, that corrupt city, right, where we was, was known for a holy for witchcraft, soothsaying and magic and all this. Same today, because Nineveh represents the Babylonians today. But it was a righteous thing for the most high, where well, a lot of them repented, a lot of them repented, they actually repented, <laughs> which was um, to, the, um, to the disappointment of, um, of Jonah. But the city represented somewhere, somewhere wicked, where only people the elders of the uh, uh, bar died into that, Nineveh, yeah. right, we're, we're the same thing today, and our elder, our elder over here mentioned about going to certain places like, you know, um, where's that Stonehenge, Stonehenge and over certain places where it's just dark, there's a whole different, it's like a misty feeling and that, it's like, there's witches that live in the area, quiet, dark road, where you can walk past some of that, you can look in, and you can see, you know, inside the houses. There's certain places also in Golden Green, like back in the day when I was doing the window cleaning, Golden Green, St. John's Wood, where you just be in the house, you can see 
main Miami, right? Golden Queen, uh, Central, Central, Parker, Parker, and all those, Parker, Avenue, and all those, uh, mainly Amelie. But it's just an eerie kind of feeling, you know, you know it's which far, not, not too far from you, man. Uh, I mentioned, um, Blimey coming up to them, rubbers, and, and he said that they was like they was all in awe of them. Even though they're blind, they could feel like they know there's like a light, something special. They was like um, fascinated with the, the brothers being around looking at them. So blind man, but into witchcraft, but they can sense. Same way we can sense them, the darkness, the wickedness, they can sense the light coming from us, the righteousness, which, we're, which they're both opposed to each other. But I say that to say Nineveh was, was destroyed anyway. Uh, all that repented, repented. But this place today represents Nineveh, witchcraft, soothsaying, child, children going missing. Oh, one of the brothers said three children. I, I heard it. I heard it. One of the brothers, but I heard it. Could have been one of the two brothers. I heard it. someone say three children go. No, yeah, I remember that. One of the Dallas elder, elder yes, you are, said that three children go missing. Whoa! I don't know about over here, but he was making me talking about over in the States. Three children gone missing a day. So, you know, a couple of families are barring every day. You never see that child again. Gone. You understand? Pedophilia. You, they use it as a, as a sacrifice. Woo! That's a, these are a dangerous place, man. Just your point, if I may. Three children a day go missing. Uh, what would that be? Seven. Seven times three is 21. 21 children a week. And you times that by four. 21. That's like 83 children a month, 12 months in a year. That's, that's, whole, that's probably a conservative number as well, because what about the children who aren't declared? Ooh, spirit. So oh, lucky, man. Like, there's children who were born in a hospital. Yeah, yeah. And they'll come and tell you, oh, your baby died. Yeah. But really, your baby didn't die. They just took it, and they're going to bring it up in some, what, se uh, what it was a child sex ring? Bring the child up into to be a, what, um, a sex stable. Yeah. Yeah. All that madness is going man, on with undeclared children. I remember when you think about people like Little Nas, all them men that they come out and they do, they've got them doing all kinds of rituals. Yeah, where did he come from? Yeah, I remember one of the, you know, brother of Elder was saying, yeah, he could have been one of those that, that went missing. Where did they come from? Where did they get secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not yeah made him dear man and he ain't gonna be able to hide himself right they say what do they say about the, the youth you have been a fool should have never been vented or the line psalms psalms 19 yeah that's what the elite are saying right so now you've got this um Quad Shroud, if I'm saying it right. Cloud Shroud, Shroud. What did he say about it? church is calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. It says, um, the date, yeah, it was published on the uh, 7th of March, so that was two weeks ago. This is the leaders of one of America's oldest and most storied traditions, the Black Christian African Methodist uh, Episcopal Church's Council of Bishops, forgive me, I don't know how to tell you. I'm not sure the Yeah. Recently issued a call for a permanent ceasefire 
between Israel and Palestine are groups. Yeah. Among my people are wicked USA men. That's one of them. Among my uh, people are wicked as men. As government wages a war of slaughter in the Gaza Strip. Probably a follow of DJ. It was the AME Church, South Carolina's historic mother, Emmanuel Church, the site of the horrific white supremacist massacre that killed nine, nine black churchgoers in 2015, where protesters demanded US support for a ceasefire in Gaza made headlines in January when they interrupted President Joe Biden's campaign speech. Though the protesters called the peace to eventually drowned out by a chance demanding four more years for Biden, the AME Council's courageous report to conscience underscores how the state of Biden's team is if they're counting on these campaign rhetoric to silence. But it's on Biden's behind it. Yeah, Biden was, um, yeah, Biden was very So basically, the same thing. This was the top of the stop the violence. They're trying to come up with new ways to say that. I can't read it, but I'm going to say something about it. Because um, the pally, National Court of Justice found that Israel's actions could plausibly constitute a genocide. Um, from the pulpits, as the black church leaders, our faith in history falls on us. What's he got to do with them? What's he got to do with you, man? What's wrong with you flipping these sellouts, man? Put up to delete these guys, man. Other rounds are, you know, just put up on a, put up in the, a chain, they say, a chain is only as strong as it's weak and link. Right? That's, what, that's why. I, no, you understand why the elders and the books they say we're well, gonna be jumping over the human rights to get to the wicked people. Among my people are wicked men, man. Is that Jeremiah? Jeremiah 25 or something like that. Come on, find it, brother. We're gonna bring attention to this. Sorry, no. There's a lot of, a lot of the reasons why people continue. You've got people wanting to put over there in the Middle East. Right? When you watch when you were watching a lot of the protests, a lot of the main speakers over in America, the protesters. A lot of the main speakers were definitely Jake, man. You know, Woolly Hair, some of them may, may just be tears, but a lot of them were Jake speaking for the, the flight over there in the Middle East. Look at Jeremiah 5, verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait yeah. as he that sitteth snares traps. They set a trap, they catch men. Yeah. Who, who gives the monkeys about these, these uh, pastors anyway? These um, black church pastors, T.D. Jakes, Eddie Long. What already the most I showed and made an example of Eddie Long with that, what he did to the, what he did with the children. You know, remember, remember Eddie Long? Most I just drained, put his sex, he made him thin. Because they came out and said, yeah, you know, he wasn't him, I didn't do it. But the most I made him look thin at first, he got AIDS. And then he just he deleted it. In a matter of two years, TV Jakes is going to get the same judgment when the Mosai, or, or the Mosai could be preserving a lot of these uh, Joe Osteen mega churches, you know, mega mega parties, mm -hmm. mega churches. Fuel for the fire. Yeah, he could be preserving them for the fuel, for the fire, yeah. for the, which is the, ult the ultimate judgment. Uh, uh, or you can start, you can start to, you can start now, uh, bringing that, you can start putting them through now. Anyway, the most I you know, the kind of stuff like that, man. You can the most Right, so it says, um, as black church leaders, our faith and our history calls on us to oppose militarism and oppression in all its forms. And while it may not always make the headlines, black congregations across America are answering this call to action from the pulpit and from the pews as we grapple with the violence being committed against our Palestinian 
mothers and sisters with Biden's unconditional support. Just, just this past weekend, students held a silent protest at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta to call for a ceasefire while US Senator Matthew Warnock was sitting in a pastor there uh, delivering his Sunday message. Right, see? So they're making it some kind of like some kind of a uh, movement now with the black pastors. Right? Among my people are wicked men. And when you think about the plight of Jake in Philadelphia, just tap on Philadelphia, tap, go on YouTube and tap in uh, Philadelphia uh, street drugs or whatever, you know, street junkies. And you see all these Jakes, most of them, you've got these too, but Jake is up there. Some of them are just sleeping on, standing up, or just sitting on the floor, walking around, well, yeah. You know, shit all over the floor, right? And LA, you've got the same plight in LA, the homeless people. That's very well known, the infamous homelessness in LA, where you've got, you've got across the road, you've got clash houses, rich houses, certain places in LA, really clash and nice, right? Uh, Hollywood. Then you've got uh, roads where it's known for the pure homeless people sitting down there. So, Jake, if Jake really gives them, if Jake had his mind right, so called black masters, which they're, they're being bought and paid for, they would make a protest or a black revolution or movement. About what about the plight of the homeless people in LA and all the junk the junkies them? Give them yards, give them places to live, give them put them in the um what do they call it place where they put them in the re re rehabilitation centers and all of that. They really was um about it, but they bought and paid for. Among my people are wicked men. We have we're gonna have to search these people out. Yeah. That's my spirit anyway. Search these people out, drag them up, right, you understand, and delete them on the spot. And then you kill that weak, that weak link in the chain. Because the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. If that's what the most I will, or like you say, the most I could be converting into the ultimate, ultimate judgment. The, the, the deceiver and the deceived are right, his. Proverbs 11 verse 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Yeah. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So they might stay join hand with the wicked. So anyway, they've sealed their faith. That's it. Then um, honorary, honorary white people. Just like when you look at Jake, right? And so that's just something that we should do. We should do it. Really. When you look at so-called black people, niggas in the music industry, in the Hollywood actors, they're not our people, man. I, I said that years ago, anyway. But I like, I like the the, the, the word, what the hell they use, because our people. It goes into that in um, uh, Hebrews chapter six. So they're bastards. Right. They're, not our, they're not our people, they're nothing to do with us. They sold their soul to the devil, they're honorary white people. So Nas and all the, the Eminem and all that shit, Tupac, oh, I don't fuck, I've never, I've never really liked them like that. Oh yeah, maybe I've said, yeah, you need this money, that music, this and that, and yeah. certain bits of music. But they're not, they're nothing to do with us, man. It's like certain people in your family, if they're not in this room, they're not really of you. The scriptures talk about that, innit? Your whole shy came to divide, innit? To set a difference between those, so they're not our people, man. As hard as as hard as it may be, and I, I even before the truth, I was watching certain movements, and I said, "Them, them people, they're the devil." And I'm not just talking about either one. Them people, there is the devil. Pentecostal church people, them is the devil. The whole thing is people, them, their movements and their conduct and what they uh, represent is the devil. There ain't no such thing as black people or white people anyway. That's 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 that's, um, that's that was um, a new. New word that was called white in the, the 1600s, white people, around 1681. They come with white people, and it's the same thing with black people. Black is, um, what the hell do you usually say? Black is um, the vibration of, of darkness, of wickedness, like, void of light. So they're not, we're not black people, so therefore, if you're a black, people, black person and you don't want to take the title of your name, keep it. And, and keep the vibration and that energy, you keep that over there. You know? Anybody want to do that? This is John. Chapter 10, verse 25. And Yahweh shall answer them, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. But you believe not, because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice. Right. And I know them, and they follow me. Yeah. That's it, because we're talking about those um, black pastors, the 
uh, today the politicians, which are all um, uh, puppets of the shadow government, the black party is using. Right? They're all the puppets of the shadow government, which is the manipulation, which is the dark, which is the, de the demons. We have a rep revelation, a, re uh, a wrestling, not against the um, uh, 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 six and ten. Right, six and ten. Uh, the wrestling we have is against the. These are the puppets. They're the what we can see. Because you've got the behind the scenes, the shadow government, which are the demons. Uh, mani they're manipulated by demons. Oh, that movie, um, the, the Golden Child, isn't it? Was that guy? Sardo Nimsky, right? Yeah. And, Eddie Murphy, the golden child, he was he was coming up against the duck. He didn't realise what he was coming up against in, in according to the movie. It's fact it's fiction but there's some truth in there. He didn't realise what he was coming up against until at the last moment when the Sardo Munsky, right? Because he said if you, if, you, if, you, if you take this the little the little golden child, you know, that, that was excellent, you know, the principle of it there was good. Yeah. Um, the little golden child said if you take this, this is the only way to kill the dragon. Right, Sarge Sarge. 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 Yeah, the Shantae da dagger. Yeah, the Shantae dagger. I think that's what's good, right? right? And at the end, he realised what the Golden Child was saying too. Because they were always trying to poison the, the, the Golden Child, putting blood in his in his porridge, right? Trying to get him to corrupt him because he was he had to be pure. And that's us really. Yeah. That's actually us. Yeah, yeah because what they say, the scripture say we, we are virgins, right? We are virgins, which means we are willing to take part in this blood. We have been corrupted by the blood. Someone can hold that. Oh, yeah, I think that's in Revelation 14. Yeah. Revelation 14 yeah. but I'm, I'm just going to make this point and then we're going to get that for Revelation 14. So they were trying to corrupt the little golden child um, while he was in that um, in that little uh, he was in the cage and the, the you know, the, the Edom, uh, you can call them demons, was coming and trying to serve him, put, him, put blood in his holes, trying to give him all kinds of things. And anything he touched, you know, it's anything he touched, but that dead bird that he touched, it came back to life. Mm. He had power, he was oozing with power, man. Right? Even though it's fiction, there's truth in that. Yashua Ali is oozing with power, righteous power, that they've painted us with all the corruption all around the, around the cage so that we can't uh, excel. Same principle. So, if you can't, you can't take dagger when um, the golden child, right? If you, could, if you could see what I'm trying to say, when he came up against the um, the dragon Sardar Muski, which really he was a dragon. His true appearance was a dragon, the Edomites. Just to talk about him because he's a dragon. Right? When they revealed the two colors, you're going to see the dragon. Revelation, Revelation, the twelve and twelve. When they revealed the two uh, nature, and he turned into a dragon and. Um, the Chante dagger, you got the dagger, he wiggled it around and then the, he wiggled it and then all the dragon was like confused and he clapped it into his heart and he dealt with the dragon. So the, the what is the, the Chante dagger today? It's the truth, this works so with the spirit, yeah, the spirit, the spirit, he was chapter 12, man. Right, this is, this is the Chante dagger that pierces with the device of the soul and the spear and the marrow go right in and deal with them, the dragon. Sung as it were, news before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb with us on every new going. Yeah, let me just make a point about the arm, um, that, that, um, that language, that song, that new song, in particular language that only certain elect. Speaking right now, this is this word, this truth cannot be penetrated, cannot be corrupted, cannot be defiled. Right? Word of truth is pure. Could just talk about that. You understand? The heart in the Hebrew, pure, can't be corrupted. Once it's once something is pure, undefiled, 100% truth, and we say it's one as it's been tainted in any way, cannot be uh, tainted. This word is truth, and many have tried and Try to give us the bag, you know, the elders are elders and elders. Try to give them the bag, and it is passed by. They said, No, nah, man, we refuse to be corrupted by it. 
back for tape. And it's always going to be truth in, in the earth. No matter, no matter what they say or what they try to do, there's always going to be truth in the earth. Yeah. And people speaking the truth, which is that 150,000, just get back to it. I can't. Yeah. Revelation 14 and 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Yes, yeah, so the women represent the philosophies of this world, or otherwise described as, as wines, which are which are polluted and uh, corrupted. Philosophies, because you, you get drunk on you know, you, you get drunk on the philosophies, which means you're defiled, right? The, uh, the elect can't be defiled, which is, which is which is the lies. The philosophies are all wine, can't be defiled by those things. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. Yep. These are they which are redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High God. Yeah, the first fruits were there from the time, from the time of Genesis. The first fruits from the beginning. Yeah. And to the Lamb, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High God. Yeah, no guile, no deception. Again, we can't be defiled. 100% truth, and you're always going to get truth, no matter where you, what, you, what you do to the world, no matter you corrupt the world with lies, you're going to get, you're going to get a 90, say 95% lies or 99% lies, there always has to be some truth, and the truth is what's going to turn this world upside down in the end, just like when you saw when they tried to defile the golden child in the movie, which is based on fiction, but we came with the heady man, which is the 100 people coming with that soul, right? Which is going to pierce the heart, the dividing of the soul and, uh, and asunder. Which the, um, the shadow government now, they're trying all kinds of things, man. They're trying to stop this truth. Right? That's why they mess with Brothers Channel, all kind of petty things with the live stream, right? Right? You can only do, there's, there's nothing to do, no, what you can't, um, there's nothing you can get to do against the truth, but only for the truth. And Volker Malone has found that out, he's found that out. All these other guys, there's one guy named Eric Mason, I remember, I remember him, he was in the scene. Right, he was outside his church, uh, Sakari was outside his church. And he called, like, he called the police on him. They would have done a video. He called the police on him. Um, Eric Mason, he, he tried to come up against his truth as well. With, uh, and he, the most I made examples of people like that. Yeah. Also, I mentioned, um, I mentioned, um, Volker Malone, he's learned the hard way, right? He, 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 that is nothing you can do against his truth, only for the truth. And you can see it all in his countenance. He now, he now gets no sleep. He, he's, 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 you know, he doesn't know what to do with himself. Because there's nothing you can do against his truth, only for the truth. Right. Uh, Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this council be, uh, or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Yeah, that's um, Gamala, Gamala, one of the um, high officials back in those days. Uh, he, he came to that, to that conclusion, that you're reading there now. Yep, I was on to say in verse Gamalia. 39, But if it be of the Most High, Whoa. he cannot overthrow it, lest haply he be found even to fight against the Most High. Yep. Little old us, some brothers, little old us, right, goes into that people, unlettered men, nobody, come out of nowhere and start to kill the people in the fucking rubble. I'm just going to clear up the road, wrap the ball up, drop the ball up, <laughs> and next week you'll never see him again. No, <laughs> it never worked. But next week it was even more. <laughs> even more came. <laughs> and we got, probably got there a little bit earlier too, you know. We, we, we really showed them, right? I was trying to wrap, wrap, I was just wrap this thing up like some kind of fucking uh, movie or something. You know, like some kind of a uh, interruption, annoying their, their, you know, annoying their entertainment, annoying, uh, interrupting their entertainment for the, for the day. Yeah, next week we were back there in the following week. And um, people, people were watching us and why? Where is the this still there? Right? And they came up to us again, I was up to our name, told them our name. You already knew our names. Come on, this is all about you over there. Um, um, about, 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 yeah, 
Revelation 14 and um, verse 4 again. These are they which are well, not. No, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever He goeth. Yeah, that means when He says stop, that's when we stop. We're instructed to continue to follow Him. Like Simon says. Yeah, Simon, Simon, Simon says. Simon. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that game some of us used to play that in school. Simon says that that's a game. But it's, there's some truth in that. Yeah, we follow Him, man. We don't mind. You can call us our kind of names if you want. We, yeah, we do follow your whole shot. Right. Yeah, we imitate him to the best of our ability. The scriptures say that we should follow the footsteps closely. As a matter of fact, let me get that out that one out of that with that one. But they, they read it in the Christian church, but now we're going to put the, you know, the, the proper context on that. Yeah, because when they try to lock us up, the whole shot never come to us and say, no, 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 said to us, quit. We would have, but <laughs> You always try to say, continue going out there on the highways and the, by on the byways, man. Into the marriage. Day, day, day in and day out. Right? Um, that's why we read that precept in um, Acts, Acts chapter 5. Right? Um, if, if you read it, as a matter of fact, read it. Um, this is Acts 5, starting at 38. And now, I say unto you, mm -hmm. refrain from these men. Yep. And let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Yeah. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply ye be found even to fight against the Most yeah, because High. Because it's bigger than us, man. It's bigger than us, bigger than the centurions. Right? That's the point I was making there. It's bigger than the apostles, it's bigger than uh, the, the governments. Right? It goes all the way up to your whole side, the ultimate government. Right? And you won't come against us, it's like you're coming against the most high. And we ain't nobody, we don't claim to be anybody. We know, we know we're just um, in the flesh, humble servants. Our righteousness are as filthy rags, I, um, Isaiah Our righteousness are filthy rags. We don't claim to be anybody, but if you come against us and you upset us, he that, it's like almost like you poke, you poke, you poke, you touch one of us, it's like, um, that we ain't nobody. But you don't want to come against us because if we, if we, are, if we are those men, just like you saw the, those examples of um, Daniel, um, Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego, uh, Ananias, um, Anana, An Ananias, Nazareth, and Misha. Uh, those faithful men that was in the um, uh, furnace and they refused to cow down to the golden image and they turned up the heat furnace even more and one of the guys was sinned man one of the um executors came and, he, and even he got the heat he was singed so, but yeah it was actually deleted just by being outside of, of the um so he, they tried to come against those great men right men of the most high god they didn't claim to be anybody, all they knew that they were humble servants, yeah. Um, Ananias, Nazareth, and Mishael, Shadrach, Mishael, and Abednego in the English. We, we learned that, we learned about in, 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 in um, Sunday school. We hear the story, but the point is that it was bigger than them, the same way today, bigger than us. First Chronicles 16 and 21, He suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Yeah, the bird, the bird, the bird, I'm going to chime in on that one there. They know, the bird, they're, they're locked in the spirit, they're always locked in the spirit. We locked in, you know, certain percentages of the time, but because we're down here in, in the king concrete, just to, we, you know, we, we, we have to deal with these concrete, you know, these, these, these things of the flesh. But the spirit, the, 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 the most large creation, they're always locked into him. So when they start chirping and they're going mad, just made, made mention of something that's them confirming it to you you know so we we are followers we are followers we're imitators we're, we we copy the word of you we know that one in school we copy our creator our father the whole child the christian calling jesus we imitate him so yeah we put that Isaiah 34 verse 16 yeah, Seek ye out to the book of the Lord and read 
No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, yeah. and his spirit it have done them. Yes. Seek it out of the book and read, man. That's what we have to do. I mean, it's, 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 it sounds simple, but I mean, yeah, it is simple, actually. It is simple. It becomes simpler when you say it like that. You get into a routine, you read, brothers going into this. Read more, right? Same way you read more, you grow more in the spirit. You pray more, they say read more, or pray, or keep the medicine strong, right? Which is, which is the medicine of the, the spirit, um, means to pray. But also you've got the spiritual medicine too, like the herbs, right? The anointing oil, which probably do that. The high holidays, all part of it, keeping our medicine strong. The brotherhood, to grow, you know, reading more. You see, the beautiful thing, you know, for us that we, that we grow in the spirit, man. Feeding ourselves in the spirit, and, and you mentioned that. Read that one again, Bob. Yeah, I'll get yours off. Yeah, Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right. No one of these shall fail. Yeah, because none of them shall fail. None of them shall fail. Just like you took. I like the illustration of the um, of um, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and 10, that suit of armor, mm -hmm. right? Um, of the title, I like the, I, I haven't even seen the, there's another one after that. I, all I just remember, I grew up, I remember seeing that when I was really young. That, and then, Clash of the Titans, the original, 1979, I think. That had an impression, had an impression on me. Perseus, right? There's some little things in there, but he, he gave him the, hel the helmet, right? Which rendered him invisible, that helmet. The sword, which could cut through anything, 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 anything. One of the hardest things was marble, and he actually did that. And, um, and he also had the, the shield, which was able to, yeah, which was a mirror, which he able to, which that mirror protected him, saved his, he saved his life. And he was actually told, he said, God, eat with all your life, with your life, today may save your life. And he, and he had all those, um, those gods, and they were just playing chess. So, you know, Greek mythology, you no know, mm. Greek gods. Yeah. And they were just playing chess with with the, um, the young pretender, the underdog, when he had to overcome those obstacles. And he actually fell, in the, in the game of chess, where they got him, they, you see them, he fell over, because he was, he was so tired in the, in the, in the room. He fell over, right, he was on the floor, he was tired, exhaustion, and, they, and one of the gods, his god, or you might say guardian angel, got him and picked him up, and stood, stood him back up again. You think that we don't, that we, we get that. Yeah. And when, when in the movie, in the, in the it's just more of like, um, they're using it as a kind of example that it was a statue on the floor and the, the god who was his favourite or his guiding angel because uh, there was arguments in the heavens about you know, what she should do what he said no leave him alone Perseus he's going to do it he's going to overcome he went back and he cheated he got it he went back and he cheated he picked him up <laughs> he was up to his back he, he never made it he was, he, he was so much challenging he was exhausted and his god had to come in and intervene for him, divine intervention. Got him and picked him up. Now there's a whole lot of truth in that, right? You get that, we get that. We have the prayer, that's why he took about keeping the medicine strong. Most like intervene for you. Right? Say it saying, oh I've got him now, look, oh, I've got him, we stand. And then the angel comes, right? It could be Gabriel, I mean, you know, I'm just saying. In the case of Daniel it was Gabriel. In the case of Toby, who was Uriel. Ur and the angel come pick you up and if you go, I'm so strong, I'm so strong. You're not stopping you from going to camp. The angel of the Lord, he intervened, the divine intervention. He came from Yehovah. You know what I mean? Ultimately, he came from Yehovah. This is Ezekiel 3, verse 3. That's in verse 1. Ezekiel 3, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll. And go speak unto the house of Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quote and read it again, Bible. Ezekiel 3, verse 1. Ooh. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, Ezekiel chapter 3. Yeah, eat that roll because you've got to get it in your first innings. Going back to what you read. Um, eating, this, eating the word, right? That pull it like bread or sustain up. Bread is also known, or the word is also known as the bread. Sustain you, sustain.
container fool you up and give you energy. You know what I mean? This word doesn't say you've got to take it in, get it in you first. Chew it, read it. That's why we read day in and day out. Right? Read the video. And you think you are, when you're doing a video, you're reading anyway as well. On top of any kind of personal studying that you're doing, you do the video because you're studying, that's how you're doing it. You're able to do the video. Have you, something that you do from back to the your previous study, or what you actually want to bring out, spirit on you to bring out, because you've done research on your, 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 um, your, um, your topic. So you have, that's what you're talking about there, reading, Ezekiel. Now, now you mentioned Ezekiel, I'm looking at it, you've done the video. You get back to that. John 6 and verse 35, And Yahweh shall said unto them, I am the bread of life, he that cometh to me shall never hunger, he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Within reason, 
obviously you use discretion, but we learn to use discretion when we coming up in this team, avoiding getting arrested unnecessarily, unnecessary stupidity. But nothing's gonna stop us from pushing out this word the truth. But we know that there's something bigger than us behind it. That's right. It's bigger than us, it's bigger than Esau. Esau is just a coward. He's like one of them big dogs with big teeth that growls at you. And then we just look at it in his eyes, it, got, it turns away and runs off. That's, that's like Esau. Yes, yes. See? But yeah, the, 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 you've got dragons. Yeah, you've got dragons. You've got dragons, make believe fantasy dragons. But they, you've, got, you've, got, you've, got, you've got right hand side dragons too. Your whole side, the brass dragon. Yeah? That, when that spirit come and, uh, on you, I've heard some elders say, I've heard some elders and apostles say, it's not my, my own words, they, they said it. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and speak unto the house of Israel. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's a sustainer. I, li I, li I like him kind of, uh, I like him kind of precepts. I mean, the bread. Like the bread. This is, you know, we, we like the bread. All those things we need them. You know what I say? It's a statement of life. No, no, no. I tell you what. Do really you have like a um, grain. As a like fact, some sort of rope, anything that's rope equivalent? Okay. You sure you don't mind? Yeah, right. Moreover, he said unto me. Oh, so oh yeah, this was this one's longer, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Find yeah. and find this. Eat this roll and go and speak unto the house of Israel. All right. Yeah. That's that role of the scriptures, we're applying it to the scriptures. But also be um, be mindful of what we what we take in also. You know, but eat eat things that are gonna be allowed to stay in the ultimate thing is the spiritual spirituality. Do you have something? No, no, uh, yeah, someone I'm gonna go into Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter four, right? We are gonna break break down Ezekiel chapter four about since you brought that out about staying in bread. Just touch on it. But it alright, we're we're gonna go through Starting from Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 4. I'm going to it a little bit. This is Ezekiel 4 verse 4. I thou also upon thy left side and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it, thou shalt bear their iniquity. Read free and then and then and then carry on going down. Read free, just to get the point. Ezekiel 4 verse 3. Moreover, take thou unto thee an iron pan. And set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city, and set thy face against it. Yeah. It shall be so like besieged, it. and thou shalt lay siege against it. Yeah, so this so uh, Ezekiel chapter 4, the subheading, Siege of Jerusalem predicted. Now, carry on now. And verse 4 Lie thou also upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it. Thou shalt bear the iniquity. Yeah, you see that there? Yeah, it's a little kind of um, sequilly or a little um, something that if you just read it and you just read through it, you might not really see what's going on there. But it says, Lie thou also upon thy left side and lay thy iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days thou shalt lie down upon it, thou shalt bear the iniquity. Right, so the word here. Someone look up the word iniquity. You, you, you know about it. Just for. Clarity shape. Uh, yeah. Four. Four Perversity, depravity, mm -hmm. iniquity, guilt or punishment or iniquity. Yeah. Uh, 
just one great view, it's a great view of the people. Consequences of or punishment for iniquity. So I read four again. Lie also upon thy left side, and lie the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the day thou shalt lie upon it, shalt thou bear the iniquity, their iniquity. So we were told, we were given a couple of, um, call them challenges or chores, right? Just like a parent gives children, you say, clean, clean the room, you know? clean the room, and I want to give you something. You know? same, same thing for you. Carry on. Well, that's five. For I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, 390 days. So shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. Yes, so you see what's happening here? He's told to lie on his, on his left side, he says. Yes. Lie also upon thy left side. <laughs> so imagine you're lying like the chicken and, 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 you know, an angel may come. I say it in the form of an angel, say, lie on the lie on your left, lie on your shoulder. So that's what he's doing to bear the in iniquity. Read five again. For well, I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, 390 days, so, so shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. Yeah, so he's told to lie on the left side 390 days. I don't know if anybody is getting tried in this country. Resistance training. We do resistance training for isometrics. You understand? You know what the word isometric is? It's very similar to isometric exercise. Staying in one position for all for a long time. In this case, Right? He says, he says, um, 90, uh, the number of the days, 390 days shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. You see, the, you see, we look at things and we don't really look at it. What Ezekiel had to do. Read on. That's it. You had to lie down, man, because, because he had to, it's like, you is wicked. It's like, you is wicked, right? I say you is wicked. And I punish you. What he did. It's similar to what, what he did to go to for us. At, what they call him scapegoat. Similar to your side. Same example. Read on. Verse 6. And when thou hast accomplished them, now again on thy right side, thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah 40 days. Right. So you have to lie on that side for uh, uh, 90. Uh, uh, number of the days, uh, 390 days on his left side and 40 days on his right side. So he's like, give me a break, I just want to chill out, man. And, I, and anybody who's done, again, anybody who's done any form of resistance training, right, do resistance training, stay in a position for like 40 seconds, one position, one minute, in one, for one minute in one position, you can't move, and after you know how you felt. Put pressure on your, and it's, there's a method to it, but you can't do that, man. That's off the chart to do that for that kind of thing, kind of, you can't do it. Them days, men, them were strong, man. Them men were strong. But the Spirit of the Lord, obviously, obviously aided him to do it. But, and also shows you the terror of the Lord, too. The terror of the Lord, boy. Woo! Anyway, let's carry on. Carry on. Uh, uh, verse 6 again. Yeah. And when thou hast accomplished them, now again on thy right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days, I have appointed thee each day for a year. Yeah, we don't. Therefore thou shalt set thy face towards the seed of Jerusalem, and thine army shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. Yeah, if anybody, let me just say this one. If anyone done the moon stance, probably the problem, probably the problem, some of the moon stance, the moon stance for 30 seconds or, or a minute, they know, they know what, they, they, they understand what, um, the pain that he must have been feeling. And he can't move. And you you, you can stop when he's arm tied now for stop. Yeah. You know, the, the, the angels there when he's not watching you, right? Yeah. You can't move. Oh, it's so hard. I've had something in the past where I was in a position where I just couldn't move. You understand? So um, I, I see a little bit, a little glimpse, because it really doesn't give you, give you an idea. A little glimpse of what the people were going through, or the kind of strength that the man must have had. Mental strength, which came from the most high. Yeah, carry on. Right. Uh, verse 7, Therefore thou shalt set thy face towards the siege of Jerusalem, and thine army shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. 
and behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another till thou hast ended the days of thy seed. Yeah, it was all, um, um, and it making an example because as you, when you look at it, it says the seed of Jerusalem predicted, right? As an example, he had to bear the iniquity, bear someone else's weight, bear someone else's sins, and you had to be put in that position to show that, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to do it then and I'm going to fulfill it. These little tasks. So when brothers get little, 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 little ailments here and there, I don't know what kind of, or they say sometimes with Job, a bet. What kind of bet was going on in the heavens? Huh? Oh, you understand? Know what kind of bet was on you or me or whoever? There was a bet, it could have been a bet. Right. I bet when he walks down there, he's just going to do that. But I bet he's going to keep a straight face. He's going to hold his integrity. He ain't going to carry down. If that happens, I wonder if he's going to be honest. The more that you want to be, he's in the spirit though. We're just talking in the spirit. So I'll carry on reading. Carry on reading. Verse 9, take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and finches and put them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. See? 390 days shalt thou eat thereof. Yeah, so the same number that he was lying on his left side, 390 days, he's making some kind of um, wheat, barley, beans and lentils and mullet pitches upon them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of the day. Thou shalt lie upon thy side. See now, is it like the most high blessing if you do something? Oh, you did that now, we'll balance it out. The most high is all about balance. All about balance. But I'm, like I say, I studied, I went into it a little bit to, to understand that he had to, why he had to do it. He bear the iniquity. 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 Say the word, brother. Iniquity. 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 Now all of a sudden I've got, now all of a sudden it's asking to pronounce it. And I know I just say it easy. Uh, so, yeah. Read that again, read that again, and we're going to carry on reading. Yeah. 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 Ezekiel 4 verse 9. Take thou also unto thee wheat, and barley, and beans, and lentils, and millet, and fitches, and put them in one vessel, and make thee bread, thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. Yeah. 390 days shalt thou eat thereof. Yeah, all those, um, these are all um, grains. And these are all very good grains as well. Right? So if people get anything like any, any of those things, he, they always get it them days. He get some good thing, man. Yeah, barley, beans. When we're not talking about some of that kind of stuff. Barley, beans, lentils, mullets, fitches, yeah, grains. Grain, all these things that come out of the earth. You know what I mean? And carry on now, I'm getting to the point. Verse 10, and thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be weight twenty shekel a day from time to time shalt thou eat it. Yeah, carry on. Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of an of an inn. From time to time shalt thou drink. Yeah. Now it's now it's getting into it now. Read, read that. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of a man. In their sight. Right, you see there, you see what the most I think is true there. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Nothing, never, nothing, why can't things just be straightforward and easy, man? <laughs> As a prophet. Don't we say that? Why can't we just be easy and straightforward? No more prophets, man. Well, this is a lot of more prophets. This is an example here. Right. Yeah, but just, just, to wrap up, just to wrap it up, I'm going to hit the point. Um, and the Lord said unto him, yeah, three thirteen. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, right. whither I will drive them. Yes, yeah, so now we know why we have to yam this defiled bread. Yeah. You go high and low, and you look left, right, and center. You can look for you can look for all these things like the lentils and all of that, and you might get them, but you're still gonna get a little bit of the catch to it. Mm. Something defiled somewhere along the line, and nothing you can do about it. It's a part of being a problem, it's a part of being under the sea. We're bearing our iniquity, following suit with Ezekiel. Abba as our widow's men coming back, you know. So, carry on reading. Just to, just to carry on and we're going to wrap it up. Verse 14. Then said I, O Lord Yahweh, behold, my soul hath not been polluted, for from my youth, up even till now, have I not eaten of that. 
Jerusalem died of itself or is torn in pieces. Yeah, yeah well, he's talking about the, the, you know, the, the dung, human dung. Right, carry on. He's saying he never knew ne anything like that before. Why, why are you going to do that to me, Paul? He's in, the, he's in the flesh, man. You can understand. Yeah, carry on. Well, well, from my youth up even till now, have I not eaten of that which died of itself or is torn in pieces? Neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. Yeah, that's it. Read. Now, carry on. Then he said unto me, No, have I given, have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread there. Yeah, yeah he saw the plan of the And I ask you to the point, just end with this one. Right? End with this one. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. Yeah, that's, that's really the ultimate thing, of it, eating out the food, man. And sometimes you might get some good things, you know, you know but still may, you may have to eat on the run, see, in astonishment, says, by measure or with astonishment, sometimes you might get a good thing, you might, when, you, when I, when in the workplace, you know, people have to eat on the move, that's not a way to enjoy it, no, you know? no, eating on the move, walking, no, you know, driving, no. sitting around, stand, good food. Good and digesting, no, no, no. that's why I grew up with that from my mother's side, the business, don't go out and play at half the food to stop eating, don't play at, then you've got to digest it, that's why they, that's why they like that, that's why they have a family, more of a family thing where everybody's around the table you eat. You don't just get up and go back and do it on the own, like in the concrete jungle. You sit around and chat, chat it out for a little while. Yeah. Rub your belly. <laughs> you grum, grum, grandmother, grandmother, and rub them belly. They're enjoying it. Let it, let it they're enjoying the food. Plus you know you had some good food. You can talk about that. Where's the case maybe? But there you go. That's part of it, eating in the stomach. That's part of it. Address that um, basically what happened was, um, you know, the brother, uh, the weaker brother, gave his money gun from um, GMS Spiritual uh, 144, something like that. And he was talking, he was, you know, I mean, like he was, he was the main brother that, that brought it up to the forefront that um, this, this group, Sakari, one of, one of the members of the Sakari camp was um, put out there that, look, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to require us to, to pray for you, then excuse me, to to have a request of prayer, and you have to pay twenty five dollars for, for prayer. So that's that's something that's like that of a low stoop. That's that is a very low stoop. Because even when you go to these various churches, that Esau uh, has ownership of, they don't even, do that. they don't even, do that. you know what I'm saying? So for them guys to say, for them guys to have a website. To put out there oh, that oh. in order for you to in order for you to have us free, you, you gotta you gotta pay twenty five dollars. That's just low down. Right? But you see in the, according to the scriptures in the book of Timothy, someone can get that first Timothy three and verse thirteen. <laughs> uh, go on, look at that. This is John chapter two verse fifteen. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple. Oh yeah. And the sheep and the oxen and poured out the, the changes money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, yeah. make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Yeah, because the Lord was very inferior to that. He understood that um the, the, you know the stuff that they were selling wasn't wasn't, you know, that wasn't meant for them. Because the temple was only was only a place for the worship. So, in a spiritual sense, this truth, um, what these guys have done is, these guys have used this truth to garner some kind of, um, you know, financial gain. When in fact, that's not, that's not something that it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Um, Nate did that, and I believe they're still doing it right now. And we know that the Safari Cat, they're doing that. And um, when you go on their websites, they have different various books that they sell. Especially the Bible, you know, primarily the Bible that they have. 
And uh, they see, when, you, when you look into the um, description, they've trans, they've taken the name Lord out of there, put put your Howard Shai's name on. But to get that book, it costs about one hundred and twenty dollars to get. Ain't that some shit? You know, like you you, you gotta kind of like sort of laugh at these dudes. Like I want you to get brother on um, what is it? First Timothy three verse thirteen. These dudes. Okay, go on, brother. Yeah, First Timothy three verse thirteen. For they that have used the office. Of, the, of a deacon well purchased to themselves a good decree and great bonus. No, second to me, it's not the second to me. You got some more that one? Because you know that I'm asking for that. Um, I'm going to put another piece of code. You should go back to it. Yeah, we don't go. It's like, I don't need to say you don't. Second to me, you see, verse 13. 13, I've got it here. Yeah, go on. Yeah, second to me, 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers that wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived. Right, and, and being deceived because, you know, all of these guys once upon a time, we always talk about the truth. They were all once upon a time a part of the truth, somehow, some way. But um, what happened was they got, they got too, they got too big-headed. Something went wrong along the way and they, and they left and decided to do what they wanted to do and in that they got big-headed, just to, just to put it correctly. And because of that, now um, they've been seduced into the demons of deception. And then with that, they've sold their soul. And when you sell your soul, now you're in that path on the left-hand side. And while you're on that path to the left-hand side, there's, there's demons that you're gonna, there's demons you're gonna encounter. You know, so the thought of, okay, well, let me set up a website or, you know, some, some sort of um, thing to where if, if people, want us to pray for them, we can charge them for it. Like, no one's ever thought about this. There would have to have been a demon along the way that, 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 that gave them that thought in mind. Because we know that the spirits give, you know, the angels give different thoughts. So that means that the demons give thoughts to them. You know, so that, that just goes to show you, once again, that these guys are on a very, very, um, you know, low level and their mind is very deprived. But they think they're on a higher level because of what they know and how they profess themselves. You know, just to bring out going, but also I believe they were charging for names as well. Yes. Uh, and, and on a per name basis. Mm -hmm. So if you've got like a first and a second name, you have to pay for each one. Huh. But here's a precept uh, that I need to straight point. Mm -hmm. Acts 3 verse 2. And a certain man was lain from his mother's room and was carried through they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which was called Beautiful, no. to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John going to the tent, about to enter the temple, mm -hmm. asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him, with John said, Look upon us. Mm -hmm. And he gave heed unto them, and expect to receive something. No. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I have none, right. but such as I have I give thee, mm -hmm. in the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach from Nazareth mm -hmm. rise up and walk. No. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. Yeah. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. No. Yeah, so the, 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 if, I'm, if, if I'm visualizing with him correctly, the guy needed Peter. Yeah. And, and Peter could have said, well, I need you. There needs a payment on He yeah. didn't do that. He just held him straight forward. Because as the scripture says, for the what is it? Pretty if you see yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just how, that's like you're supposed to do. But you see, to the, the but you see to the to the pure all things are pure to the defile all things are defiled. So you have these guys, they have the scriptures and they profess it to know the most high and they act like it too. But in all reality they just defile the spirits. That's all they know. And they're just doing the bidding of their father the devil. Which you can get somebody could get through that too. John 8 before the point. But let's read um let's read what I'm what I fought for. Uh, second, no, not second, second Timothy 3 and verse 13. Go on. Yeah, second Timothy is again, 3 verse 13 again. Mm -hmm. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse, yeah. and worse, mm -hmm. deceiving and being deceived. Right. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, being deceived. And that's, that's for all of these individuals put together. That were once upon a time down with the truth. Whether they was down with the truth back of the old and west times, or whether it was down with great most times. Because we know Al-Azhar used to be a member of great most 
But something, you know, something was had along the way the way he left Great Gun Stone, did his own thing. And, and um, in that, he thought he was growing in the spirit, which really he was, but on the left hand side. And now, you got these guys under him that's just coming up with, with strange ideas so that they can just get, so they can, they can get paid. I would say they're actually a little bit worse than the IUIC. Because even the IUIC haven't even thought about that. <laughs> Go on, brother. Right, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned yeah. and hast been assured of. Yeah, and that's another thing. Because a lot of these guys are saying, well, well, I would say the main leader, he pretty much already projected and said out loud that the, the writings of Mark, the writings of Paul are not credible. When, when did the other apostles teach that? They didn't teach that. And then you have these other dudes talking about how the market, if you know what, is, is, um, is, is something else rather than what, the, what it really is, what they were taught to, what they were taught to, that part to do. All right? So these guys are going way off, and if they don't repent, there's going to be a, a series of great judgments that's going to be formed. So they need to get their act together. That's what they need to do. Stop this bullshit. Go on, brother. What's that term? John 8 and verse 44. Ye of your father the devil, mm -hmm. and the lust of your father ye will do. Yeah. He was a murderer from the beginning, mm -hmm. and abode not in the truth. Right. Because and, there is no truth in him. Right, and abode not in the truth, because the truth is not in him. So a lot of these Israelite guys, I mean, okay, we give it to them because they're teaching our people the truth and everything. But they're not in the spirit of the truth. Because if they were in the spirit of the truth, their works would show them. Just like our works have shown them. So when you're telling people on your website that um, you have to put a down payment for us to pray to you, that's a low student. That's as low as, that's, you know, like, like they say down here in the UK, that's lower than the snake's belly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, some, that's some bullshit, man. Go on, brother. That's what you call bona fide nigga shit. Go on, brother. John chapters 10 and 12 says, But he that is in highly mm. and not the shepherd, whose mm. own sheep are not seared, yeah. He, the wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the wolf, uh, the wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep. Right. The wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep. You see, and, and this is also. I just want to bring back the point too, man, about the mark. There it is. The mark is speaking clearly, and no one is saying anything. No one is saying absolutely nothing. And then what are the only guys that have to get on the So what was this actually, hey, it's just the truth. The reality is, is we are the real men of the Yahweh Shema Shah. Because everything that's written in the scriptures, we're actually projecting. No one else is doing it. Go on, brother. Uh, leave with the sheep and flee, and the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. Right, and the wolf, what is it? The wolf catches them and scatters the sheep, meaning the bad time is found in them. So, so as a man of the law, according to you know, what you're involved in, because you're involved into this thing, you're supposed to pretty much activate the scriptures. Not out of, not out of, you know, your one or your, or your, or your two senses. You're supposed to be actually projecting the scriptures. Let's read that again. Yeah. Uh, John chapters 10 and 12. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own sheep, mm. whose own the sheep are not. Right. See if the wolf coming mm. and leave with the sheep. Yeah, so when all hell breaks loose, they're gonna scatter because they were never really about the same. They didn't really give a shit about their congregation. They were using their congregation, using their church, just to, so that they could funnel more, funnel more money and big up their pockets. That's, what they, that's why they're in the ministry. They're in the ministry of building their pockets, just like the rest of these pastors and capital. Right? As we just quoted the scripture, as you, as it was freely given, freely, what is it? As you, as it's been freely received, freely given. But they're not doing it. Go on, brother. Yeah. Uh, two more. And flee, and the wolf catches them yeah. and scatters the sheep. Right, and the, what is it? The wolf catches them and they scatter the sheep. There you go. go on. Thirteen. The hyaline fleeth because he is an hyaline mm. and careth not for the sheep. Right, and careth not for the sheep. That's the same point. And I want to hop back on again. They don't give a fuck about who's following. Excuse my language, it just came out. They don't care. 
The other thing is, 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 is really about self-exaltation, self-glorification. And the more the merrier, they can build up their pockets as well on top of that. Okay? Because when this, when, this, when this implantable device comes in, right, um, a lot of these things that have been under these, these small sleepers and small sleepers, they're all going to stab up. Now, they act like, oh, uh, well, you know, this is the Gradually, what's going to happen? This is reality is going to be quicker, quicker. Listen, man. Reality is going to um. Reality is going to is, is, is going to hit them, man. And they're going to realize and wait a minute, man. Maybe they're going to do some great things. Absolutely. You are absolutely correct. Going, brother. Proverbs 27, verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to the herds. For riches are not forever, mm. and doth the crown endure to yeah, yeah, every rich, generation. Exactly. Riches are not forever. So you might be rich one time, but guess what you can do for them? And you know what you must say, you got a whole lot of money. Do it again, brother. Yes. Uh, the book of Proverbs 27, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks. Mm -hmm. And look well to thy herds, mm -hmm. for riches are not forever. Yeah. And doth the crown endure to yeah. every so again, generation. So it's like last week, we talking about the office of the bishop. And the office of the bishop is someone that's supposed to show a good example. In many words, this time is um, the first chapter tells you. And also, the supposed to care for the flock. So if you're caring for the flock, you're going to be very well aware of uh, what you're teaching the people. That goes into what? Showing a good example. All right? So read that again. Uh, Proverbs 27, verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, mm -hmm. and look well to, the, to thy herds, God. for riches are not forever. And let me include this as well. Just like you just read, right? Um, what is it? Uh, be diligent to know the state of thy flock. Also, what they need to consider is that me, because I don't know if they know that that, that guy's a part of a part of the camp. I don't know if the head guys know about it, but they need to know about stuff like that. Because all that's going to do is just going to make them look already bad. It's going to make them look a lot more worse than you already look right now. And if they're not doing so, then it just goes back. It just goes back to the usual before. They really don't give a shit. Okay. But just like I said as well, just to bring this back to you, when the mark of the beast is, is, is initiated, I just said, then it's going to be well known that them guys in Great Mill Stones came out. They was, they was absolutely correct. So that's all I got to say with that. We know some things. Like, uh, you're doing it. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. Mm -hmm. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Mm -hmm. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Absolutely. That's when it's going to be well, well solidified once again that we were the prophets. And um, really, to, you know, technically, we're just doing our job. We're not, you know, we're not saying all of this, you know, out of out of spite or or, brag, or being braggadocious. We're not, we're not doing this for that. We're doing this because we fear the Lord, yeah. and we want to be saved. That's why we're doing. It. Okay. So the thing of it is, like I said, man, when all of these visions come to pass, we talk about martial law being the We talk about uh, great civil disobedience. When all of these things are spoken of in the precepts come to pass, then it's going to be well known that a prophet have been among them. Because we are the prophets. The word prophet just means to say before. And we've been doing this for years. Go on, Doug. Malachi chapter 3 and 17. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, mm. in that day when I make up my jewels. Mm -hmm. And I will spare them as a man spare his own son. Yeah, so we're going to be the ones that we spare because we took you to the world. Y'all didn't take you to the world. Y'all was going off kilter with the world because y'all was really in, in, in y'all was really under the influence of pride. Self will. That's what pride can do to a man. It can lead a man to be self-will. 
So we're going to be the ones to escape out of all of this strength that's coming down the pipe. You niggas that have not repented, guess what? Y'all going to get caught up in that mess. That's what's going to happen to y'all. Go on, brother. A little bit more, a little bit more. Um, uh, his own son that serveth him, Aina. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yehovah and him that serveth him not. Yeah, read that again. Is somebody getting the character still too? Read that again. Malachi chapter 3 and 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yehovah and him that serveth him not. Yeah, because right now is the stand, right? The most the word and the Lord brought the water right? and the Lord gave us the spirit to the son. So if we're telling you that you're doing anything you see wrong, you're supposed to just listen. Because everybody knows in great everybody knows in Israel that great no sin has the absolute truth. Everybody knows it. You can't from right? Alright? Just like it means to mark them which 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 um which are contrary according to the doctrine, something to that effect. So if you're going off on the doctrine, you've got to take the impact. And people can't be saying, oh, well, why you guys in GMS always getting on these other camps? Mm -hmm. You really just don't know what you're, you really, you really don't know what you're involved with. Because if you really knew something, you would understand the truth. But that's what the prophets of the law are here to do. It needs me. Right. You can't be really that to you. Uh, go on, huh? This is Matthew 13, starting from verse 24. Another parable put me forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man who sowed good seed in his field. Mm -hmm. But while men slept, his enemy came, and sowed tears among the wheat, and went his way. But when the blade sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. Yeah, so right now, what the sun is the good and the bad, but you see the angels are going to be doing the same thing. When the angels come around, when the out shot comes back, they're literally going to be judging you. We're just telling you that you're going up. They're going to be letting you know straight off the river by action that you went up. That's why it reads in the book of Matthew 17, excuse me, Matthew 7, where it mentions that in that day there's going to be weeping and national teeth. Because even they know the law too. It says that, um, just because they say, Lord, Lord, this is going to enter into the kingdom. And this is and this is why we're seeing, excuse me, and as it looks right now, we're seeing their works. We know that, we, you know, we're seeing that they speak on the name of the Lord. And what we're also seeing, as a matter of fact, is the fact that, um, you know, they're professing. They got the knowledge and everything. But what we're also seeing on, on the left-hand side of things, they're going way off. They charge them for prayers, they charge them for names, they charge them for breakdowns. All of these different things. You're not 100% correct with the truth. So the Lord is going to, like I said, man, the most high is going to use its angels to separate them from the righteous and burn them. That's what's going to happen. And they're going to be left in the fires. The nuclear fire which is coming down the pipe. Yeah, we got to get more Matthew 13, starting from 24 again. Mm -hmm. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, no. his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat no. and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then had the tares also. Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? And from whence have it then tears? And he said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou go that will thou then that we go up and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest you gather up the tears. So it's like he said, Nay, lest while you gather up the tears, you root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time the harvest I will say unto the reapers gather ye together first the tares mm -hmm. and bind them into bundles mm -hmm. to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn yeah so all of all of those that are wicked among us they're going to be made they're going to be separate from the righteous just so that they can be destroyed 
just like it mentions in the book of the book, uh, Warren and the first thing, that the day he was going to burn is, is only going to be what? For evil, uh, wicked men. Go on, then. Matthew 7 and 21. Mm -hmm. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall right. enter unto the kingdom of heaven. Right. Absolutely. Because the false prophets, as we know, and as well as our eyes can see, they know the Lord's Again, they're not going to make it. Because of their evil work, their evil works. So I want you to be there to give up a shot, the last verse. And if we are our first piece of three, where it mentions that this world, the word of what is it, this world is preserved. Second Peter 3, verse 16. Second Peter 3, verse 29 again, but he said, Nay, lest while we gather up the tears, we also gather up the wheat with them. Let both grow together yeah. until the harvest, and in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, mm -hmm. Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them into bundles to burn them, yeah. but gather the wheat into my barn. And that's what's already going on. Right now, you got brothers teaching, and then you have, um, which, you know, they're brothers too, according to our nation, but when they consider the people now. Everybody's teaching the work. So, in due time, it's, it's going to be well known who are the Lord's men and who are when the evil time comes. And when the missiles come as well, um, they're going to be the ones, like I mentioned, as it is written in the book of Peter. We want to read this. Second Peter chapter 3 and 11 says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be right. in holy conversation and body? Right, go on. Looking for and hastening the coming day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements are now. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men call. Some men count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, to not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And since that you read it, I just want to elaborate on it. I mean, yeah, that's... I think that's the one. Seven. That's the one. I'll read it. Yeah, just elaborate on that scripture, though. I mean, you know, that, that, that is the case. You know, that's what we would like to, to be had as well. Naturally, the Lord... Because as it is well as it's written in the book of um, the Apocalypse, excuse me, the Apocalypse, so it mentions that um, it's not in the Lord to, uh, you know, I want to say it in this way, that to embrace that, you know, people. But that's not that's not going to be the case. The reality is, is that the two thirds of all the people they will be destroyed. They will die. Okay, just to put it out there. Yes, it's, it's in verse seven. Yeah. <coughs> Second Peter three and seven. But he, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire. And what? Reserved unto fire uh -huh. against the day of judgment right. and perdition of ungodly men. And destruction of ungodly men. So that's what's coming. So the angels, like you just read out, they're going to do the reaping and all that. And they're going to be doing the delivering. And those that have not, you know, co signed with the truth, they're going to be set aside and put to the, the death and destroy. Because that's just a low state. Like, how, how can you charge someone with. How can you charge someone to pray for you? That don't make no damn sense. Like that's some way out there wild and this type shit. You, know, you just can't, you can't fathom that, man. Like, like who came up with that idea? But you see, it's, it, again, it goes back to the book of our second Timothy speech. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. You see the thing you see. Go on, bro. This is Acts chapter five, starting at verse one. But a certain man named Ananias, with Sapphira and his wife, sold a possession and kept back, kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and bought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Mm -hmm. Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Mm -hmm. Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. Right. And that's what all of you guys are really doing. Right? All, of, what, what all of you guys are doing is lying unto the most high. You're bringing something that, that, the same things that ought not to be said. 
We need to get him done so I can get this for wrap. Up on top? Yeah. Alright, this is Acts 5 verse 1 again. And but a certain man named Ananias, with Sapphira his wife, mm -hmm. sold a possession and kept back part of the price. Mm -hmm. His wife also being privy to it, and bought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. Mm -hmm. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thine heart mm -hmm. to lie to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and to keep back part of the price of the land? Mm -hmm. Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Right. Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Mm -hmm. Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto the Most High God. God. Yeah, because he was filled with Satan. He was filled with the Satan with those demonic spirits. That's why he did what he did. So the thing with these guys, I mean, and you know what, too? What I'm going to say is, is this as well. This is why we don't really get mad. We do get passionate about it. Because, again, they're seduced by what? The doctrines of doctrine. And you have um, these leaders that have sold their church out. And, you know, they're just pretty much the top demons seducing other, seducing other men to be under their influence. And now they got demons on them, but, you know, lesser demons, of course. So that's what's really going on with these guys. And they really, and what it is is this too, they really believe that they're in the right of what they're doing, but really, they're really in the right. And that's why you gotta fear the Lord, because the Lord can put can put a demon on you if you entertain the, those demonic thoughts or, or thoughts that has no good this time and get some you stand by. It's right. Go on, man. Romans 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. by the mercies of the Lord our power, yeah. that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Right. And as you do that, you gotta give the correct sacrifice. You can't be given any sacrifice you give us any It's this kind of reminiscent to the sacrifice of him. He gave the wrong sacrifice and uh, you know he got mad and upset because he gave the wrong sacrifice. Bro, you know what sacrifice what it was to give. But he gave the wrong. So when so when the end time comes up, comes around and the Lord makes a second return, none of y'all can say, Oh, I didn't know. You did know because you were told countless of times that he was going off the mission, he was going off the map. Going on. There's a few minutes, right? Well, let me finish this. Yeah. This is holy, which means separate. Mm -hmm. Acceptable unto the Lord our power, which is your reasonable service. Right, which is your reasonable service. And the sacrifice got to be acceptable. Like I said, it can't just be anything that you want to say and put out there. It's got to be the right sacrifice. Okay, like when we, when we start the camp, First of all, is we give all praise and glory to Yahweh, oh, Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. Hashem. and that is the name that we're standing for. And this is nothing more than a spiritual altar. Now, back in the ancient time of our forefathers, around the altar, what you have is, is you have, um, you know, on the cage of the altar, you had the name. So whenever, whenever you know, you gave an offer, whatever, that name was right there, it's just to commemorate or just to just to keep in mind. That's what you're sacrificing. Listen. So you gotta know you gotta know what you're putting out there, man. Go on. Yeah, this is verse here. This is Proverbs 11 and verse 1. Mm. It says a, a false balance is an abomination to Yahweh, yeah. but a just weight is his delight. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's just weight is his delight. So what we're doing is just. Yeah. And because what we're doing is just is we're about justification. I'll start this. And in saying that too, this is why you have um you have two groups of men, you know, that speak on this at the same time. You know, you have the, these rivalry camps, <coughs> and you have the brothers in GMS and the affiliate camps too that that lead to the to the doctrine of how we teach. Which really, the way that we teach, we just teach something to the same truth. You know? So you have all of this going on at the same time, and that's that's the awesome balance as well. Because you can't just have the good in this time. You gotta have the wicked in this time. Alright? But I'm just saying that the, the sacrifices that we're given is the correct sacrifice. Go on. Verse 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. Mm -hmm. But with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them. Mm -hmm. But the perverseness of transgressors mm -hmm. shall destroy them. Right. The perversion of transgressors shall destroy them. 
that's always going to lead up to um, this death and destruction in the new world. So right now, as it stands, these things, they pop up, smother themselves, smother themselves, all the way through what they're talking about, but when, it, when it's all said and done, it ain't going to feel good. It's just like when you eat sweets, right? The minute you put it in your mouth, it tastes good, but the minute it goes down to the belly, it's good. It's breaking, it's breaking up the belly. Versus, again, if you, let's just say you, you're taking on bitters, the goal is down and it don't taste right, you can put it in your mouth, but guess what, it, it does something to the belly, <coughs> positively wise. So in other words, these dudes, when it's all said and done, they're going to fill it. We need to get bubble for sure. Uh, verse 3, Proverbs 11, verse 3. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, mm. but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Right, but the perversion of transgressors shall, shall destroy them. And when it's all said and done, they're going to be highly ashamed of themselves. Oh, you better believe it. If you can, brother, give me the book of Daniel's book. Um, um, Daniel's ch uh, chapter 12. Go. Is there's a that point to everything. Nothing lasts forever. This is the book of Daniel 12 and 10. Many shall be purified and made white and dry, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Here, so when it's all said and done, we're gonna be we're gonna be glowing. We're gonna have a positive look to us because we did the positive even though we did not feel to do it, but we did it because it's the right thing to do, and it's our reasonable service to do. You see? But there's a particular verse that I want you to read too, where it reads, um, so shall we get to everlasting content. Uh, yep, yeah, that's Daniel 12 and 2. Mm -hmm. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame right, and everlasting some, contempt. And everlasting contempt. Some to shame and everlasting contempt. And all of these dudes that knew better, that knew the Father's will but chose not to do it, as it is written, they're going to be beaten with many stripes. Meaning they're going to catch more hell than those that didn't know. And, and, after, and, and after all of this has all been destroyed and done for and the kingdom is set up, they're going, to, they're going to remember the ill words that they have done. They're going to remember what we've been saying to them. You went off on this, you went off on that, you went off on this at a, at a, at a, at a consecutive basis. And it's going to hit them. Boom. First Peter's 2 and... What do you say? Uh, 15. For so is the will of Yahweh that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Right, read it again. Uh, First Peter's chapter 2 and 15. For so is the will of Yahweh that with well doing ye may put to silence the mm -hmm. ignorance of foolish men. Yeah, because again, they're going to be ashamed of everything that they've done. So they're going to be quiet eventually, and guess what? The righteous men, they're going to have all their words to say when it's all said and done, even in the kingdom. We're going to be the one influencing the world. It's not going to be done. Is they're going to consider, well, wait a minute now, you just talking all of this trash. So, we, you know, what else can we say at, at, at that particular point in time? There's nothing that we can say. And they're going to look at the righteous men of the Lord and they're, and they're going to be jealous. They're not going to be jealous, but they're going to be like, damn, I could have been just like this guy. But it's too late. And it's really not their fault, to be honest with you, because the most side put the spirit on them to be the way that they are. To show an example. This ain't nothing but the most high show. <laughs> That's all this is. Go on, brother. We just happen to be the good guys. That's all. 16. Mm -hmm. As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness. Right, and not using our liberty for a cloak of maliciousness. Just like the scripture says, the truth shall make you free. So yeah, we're free. But because we are now free to the truth, we're supposed to do that which is of the truth. Now let's get back to this. Um, back in Proverbs 11, chapter. Mm -hmm. We got down to verse, um, that's all right. But Proverbs 11 and verse 4, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, mm -hmm. but righteousness delivereth from death. Yeah. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. Right, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. 
Just like it reads in the book of Psalms 91. When all hell breaks loose and the rod is starting to drop, because we know what happened. We took the Greek of the Jews and it was dropped. So eventually the time is going to come and we're going to look at it. But we're going to be directed in the Heavenly Father's Spirit. Okay? Because what? We're going to trust in the word of the Lord in that time, as it is written. That uh, the wisdom and knowledge of trouble and stability of that time and the fear of the Lord is destruction. That's what's going to be had in that time of big struggle. Go on. Proverbs 11 and 5. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Right, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Because they trusted him. So God performing wickedness. And you think that there's not going to be no repercussions if you keep doing it over and over and over again. And guess what, man? You're going to have to pay. pay. You're going to have to pretty much deal with the consequences. And these guys know that they're bad for what they do. Because if you look at al Azar, you look at Bishop and Daniel, these niggas is mad Bishop. Because they signed the, the uh, they signed a contract. The five won't see the contract and now they have to play Kate. And they gotta keep doing it over and over again. And that's why you got these niggas in Al Azar's camp talking about how um you got <laughs> you gotta charge them so that pretty much on um, make the break. And if you want a Hebrew name, you gotta do the same. And if you wanna buy their Bibles, guess what? You gotta pay $120. That's madness. That's ridiculous. Go on. Bro. You know, Ella, look at the car they're driving, the Hellcat drive, the Hellcat. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Do they, do they want a second one? Because they, they want so much yeah, money, yeah, you know what I mean? They do want a second one. They must want a second one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just a sad situation. If, you know, these things, they think they be looking, they looking you know, unpathetic, but they're really looking for that. Go on, man. Proverbs 11, verse 6. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, mm -hmm. but the transgressors shall be taken in their own lawlessness. Right, but the sinners will be taken in their own lawlessness. So their own evil with the way is going to condemn them when it's all said and done. Just like our own righteousness is going to deliver us when it's all said and done. You see what I mean? It's just that simple. And the word of the Lord isn't complicated once you understand it. But you see, Jake, man, Jake, Jake gotta add way more than what the Lord has given. Because Jake can't, most I would say a reason why the Jake's can't accept the simplicity of the truth, the truth of the something. Okay? The most I gave us the uh how can I put this? The manuscript of life to follow. And that's what we gotta do. Alright? But since these guys want to take it a step further because of the crime, somebody can prepare for the book of the scripture where it says, um, it's in your pocket. It says when pride coming, when pride coming, then um, that's the one that costs from the make. This is Sirach 10 and verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his makeup. And his heart is turned away from his makeup. So in other words, when you're prideful, what happens? You become self-willed. Then you start operating in your own spirit. Then it, and then it comes into idolatry. You start to idolize yourself. The narcissism kicks in. And then the megalomania thing kicks in as well. That's why these guys is going off guilty. Because they went to the, the dark side, which really was spawned that was pride in the first place. Now, now they've made up a total mess of themselves. Is there more that time? Verse 13, for pride is the beginning of sin, mm -hmm. and he that have it shall pour out abominations. Right, and he that have it shall pour out an abomination. See? So when, when, they, when they made that, that statement on, on, the, uh, on the site, not making the statement, but when, when they made it, when they, um, when they put on the website saying that you have to um, charge the prayer, that's an abomination because even these so-called white churches don't even know. You go to these churches and break for free. How about that? And they're wicked as hell. Even this nigga, um, what's, what's that guy's name? He said, um, um, I ain't gonna see what he said first. Um, it came out that he was a full-blown uh, flamer. TV snakes. Even if you go to that nigga's church, he ain't gonna charge you to break to, uh, for him to break you. <laughs> and therefore, <laughs> and therefore, the Lord 
brought upon them strange calamity uh -huh. and overthrew them utterly. You see that? He brought, brought upon them strange calamity. Let's read the step of the ship. Brought upon the strange calamities. And you know what the strange calamity is going to be on this time? Those loops. And if the loops don't get you, something else is going to get you. Like the Lord might even fucking get you before you take one of these genie jabs and be on your way to the spiritual world. Go on, brother. Uh, Proverbs 11 and 6 again. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, mm -hmm. but the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Right, but the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Mm -hmm. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, mm -hmm. and the hope of unjust men, unjust men perishes. Mm -hmm. But the righteous is delivered out of trouble, mm -hmm. and the wicked cometh in his speed. Right, he cometh in his stead. In other words, he cometh into trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I mean, I don't know how the, the world is going to is going to end to be exact, because you know they, they they keep from time to time they keep pushing them about the third third you know pandemic or whatever. But let's just say the least, these things are going to take take those uh, those those uses, you know. And um, that's why I mentioned that. Man. But um, if, if that don't happen and they initiate that mark, they're going to take that mark, and the ultimate strange calamity will be upon them. According to as it is written. So is there any more on that? Because I got some precepts in there. Um, I've got, I've got some precepts. Yeah, somebody give me first clue to stop until we wish you got there. Uh, I'm finished on this one. This is 2nd uh, Ezra 9 and verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, yep. and they that have cast them away despitefully mm -hmm. shall dwell in torment. Right, shall dwell in torment. Again, that's going to be the end point of all of the shenanigans that these guys have been doing all, all this time. They're going to be in a, in a, in a state of pity. Someone look up that word P. I know, I, we know what it means, but this is a little bit of, just to emphasize the point. They're going to be in pitiful cases. And as they should be in pitiful cases, because they uh, they brought pity upon the truth. Huh. Definition for pity, the feeling of sorrow yeah. and compassion caused by the suffering and misfortunes of others. Right. So there you go. So they're going to be feeling it when it's, when it's the time um, which, will, which will be permitted for them to feel it. And that's going to happen in Jacob's struggle. When the government starts to come down on the people, the way that they're going to do it, and to announce the implant, because there was some sort of, um, you know, a fatigue attack when they used that term instead. I'm not going to say the actual word, but you know, age, let's just say someone um, is that of an agent of destruction, causing some kind of destruction as a psychological operation. Right? In that time, that's when they're going to be in a pretty good case. They're going to panic. Now, I don't know if you Bishop Nathaniel took the ticket, you know what? I don't know if Chicago took it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it came out that he, that he did take it. Because if they did, if they did take it, the message is going to be, uh, let, me, let me word it differently. If they did take those things, then that would mean he would take the young um, book. Because that was nothing more than the text. I'm just saying, I don't know, I'm not saying that that's true. But you know, these guys, they wouldn't be willing to do anything for money. You know, so if if they would have to take, you know what, just to, so that they can do, you know, continue to do the thing, how are they doing it? They probably would do it. <clears throat> you know, boom. Verse ten, second Hebrews nine and ten. For such as in their life have received benefit mm. and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, right. while they yet had liberty. And when as yet place of repentance mm -hmm. was open unto them, yeah, under because we're prophets of them as well, even though we're the prophets of the people, but we're also prophets unto the false prophets as well. So when the time when the time was right for them to repent, they didn't want to repent. We didn't get the Second Ezra 9 and 11, and they that have loathed my law, mm -hmm. while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was opened unto yeah, them. The place of repentance is surrounding the name of the Lord. 
understood not but despised it. Just like it reads, seek ye out of the, what is it? Seek ye, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. He's found right now. Now when you read the book of um, First Samuel is about the book. First Samuel is 9 and 8. It mentions that in the times past, the seers were known as the um, prophets of the most high. Yeah. So this is where the Lord is found right now. Now they may not, now I don't know where those guys are located at, but what I do know is about them. What I do know is just that they they got camps all over the U.S. So let me use the still the plant because guess what? We got GMS camps all over the U.S. as well. And they know that we have to They know that we're the men of the world. Everybody knows this. Like I said, they're going to verse, verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. Right, and the same must know it after death by pain. They're going to have to deal with the consequences. There's no getting them stuck in the can't talk shit, like you got certain men that might be talking shit about you know, to, to other men, but guess what, you just don't have to deal with this shit. You know what I mean? You have to deal with it. Because you went too far. And a lot of these niggas is going to have to deal with the dreadful judgment of God. Because it's going to come. Someone get on map for seven as well. Keep going. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 2. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted you to get that. I wanted one of the brothers to get that. That's the spirit. Go on. Uh, feed the flock of the most high which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, mm. not by constraint, right. but willingly, uh -huh. not for filthy lucre, not for filthy lucre, no. but of a ready mind. But of a ready mind. Yeah. Like it means to be instant in season of the season. Now this should be the truth. Not for the sake of filthy lucre, which means um, for the sake of finances. So if they're not doing this, then that means that they're off. That means that they're wrong overall. That's the best way I could really put it right now. They're going off. And what it was supposed to feed the flock, the bread of the law, which really, excuse me, the bread of heaven, which is your house shot. That's in the book of John 6, so they're going off. This is Proverbs 28, starting at verse 9. He that turneth away his ear, from hearing the law, mm. even his prayer shall be an abomination. Yeah, so whatever you guys are praying for or asking for the Lord, the Lord ain't hearing that. Because what you're doing here on the earth is it's not right. You ain't doing his work. So it really makes no difference what, what you're praying for. So in that time, they're gonna be, oh, I'll tell you what, brother, if you drop this one and two the You see, in that time, they're gonna wanna see the Lord, but it's going to be too late. Because they've been holding that shit all the way to the very end point, and they have to repent when the time when the time was right. When the place of repentance was, was, was right, right upon them. Go on. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Mm. And the scorners delight in their scorning. No. And fools hate knowledge. Right, and fools hate knowledge. Go on. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Huh. I will make my words known unto you. Right, I will make my words known unto you. Go on. Because I have called and ye refused. Uh -huh. I have stretched out my hand right. and no man regarded. Now is the Lord stretching out his hands per se? No, it's us that's doing it. The uh -huh. Lord sent the men up there to, to, tell, to tell them things concerning um, himself. And this is what we do. So it's for you to repent. It's for you to come unto the Lord so that the Lord can take care of you when he's all sitting down. Go on. Verse 25. But ye have set up not all my counsel. Right, they took the five little seed from Charlotte Hill so they can get some big pockets. Go on. And with none of my reproof, mm. I also will laugh at your calamity. Right. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right, so the Lord is going to mock them. So right. even though they're going to be crying their eyes out, probably dying at the same time, the Lord ain't going to recognize it because guess what? They turn their ears from hearing the law, which is the Bible, the truth of the Bible. So now their prayers become an abom it's going to become an abomination unto the Lord. So another thing too, give me the book of uh, Matthew 7 as well. You know the word where it says, uh, uh, when they say, Lord, Lord, 
just because they say law, law, only in the next one. Yeah. Okay, so it's Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Ah, they that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So if you've done the will of the Father in heaven, and then know the name, then you're going to be granted salvation. But if not, you're still going to be destroyed. Because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't do the work for them. You didn't start with finish. See, the most time is very particular in his own way. He made it easy to things to the Okay, just look at Moses. Moses is a very good example. See, Moses went off on one thing. He went off on one thing, and he wound up not being able to make it to the promised land, which was promised to his father. Because he went off on one thing. So we got to be 100% promised. We got to teach the 100% truth. We got to be about it 100% as well, by action. Not half stepping, not what is it, uh, not, 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 you know, doing this thing 20%. You gotta come all the way. Heaven, no, excuse me, heaven is you good 80%, but you ain't good 20%. No, go, go. Because many shall say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Right, have we not prophesied in thy name? Go on. And in thy name have cast out devils, mm. and in thy name have done many wonderful works. Huh. And then I will profess unto them, mm. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right. I never knew you. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. So the Lord, the most is going to put the spirit on us, man, to reject these guys. If we want to meet these guys in the time of Jacob's trouble, we're going to tell them niggas where to go. Look, man, I can't help you. I can't help you. This is the wrong time for us to help anybody. He's speaking about the hit map is going to be About the other, what is it, the 10 burdens that pop the bombs and pop the bombs. You know, some know somebody at the workplace of a different camp. And when the shit hits the fan, they might come running at you for answers in that time. Because they're going to want to save the ass going out. Matthew 25, verse 6. Mm -hmm. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Mm -hmm. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Mm -hmm. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, mm -hmm. for our lamps have gone out. Right. Give, us your, give us of your oil, our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, mm -hmm. lest there be not enough for us and you. Yep. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. I mean, you gotta get this thing for yourself, and you're gonna have to find, find it out by yourself. Rather than trying to get the word from us, that ain't gonna happen. Go on. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, mm. and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, yeah. and the door was shut. And the door was shut. It's just like what happened during the time of um, Noah and the flood. You see, they was, they was looking at Noah like it was crazy. And then when that blood came down, he's going to be starting to get real serious here. See? So they're going to start getting real serious about this thing. Blasphemy.com. When, when they see the challenges and stuff like that. So, you know, so Eric is, they're trying, to, they're trying to figure the truth out in that time, trying to inquire and do all that. Guess what the Lord's only in there, beating up, beating, beating up in the back. So you, do you really think that once you step just start beating up out of the carriage, you're going to come down and try to sit here and come and talk to me? No, no. You're going to stick down here and you're going to burn out. All right? That's what's coming. Because the right time is right now, which is to prepare. Not when the shit's in the back. Because you're going to keep going. Verse 11, Matthew 25, 11. Afterwards came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, Right. open to us. Right. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. I know ye not. Right. And, and I say unto you, no, no ye not. He can't open up to you because you didn't do the right thing. And even if they did try to do the right thing, they wasn't going to make it anyway because you can't make yourself the elect. Let's just even talk about that. The elect are, 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 are men or spirits that have been preordained before the foundations of the world were done. And are the productive spirits. 
game. Now, we're just playing this thing out. We don't know exactly this man is the man. We don't know exactly who is the man of the Lord and who ain't. But what we do know is, is this. If these things that don't, if these things continue to be on, on the other path of the young, it's going to be solidified if they're not of the young. And they're just going to be left out there to drop, or left out there to get burned. Maybe set it set. They're going to try and open up themselves to the Lord, and the Lord ain't going to recognize them. Because they didn't recognize the law when the law was called to them to get, to get this shit together. See? I want you to read it again, but for sure, brother. Uh, that's a heavy scripture. Back in uh, Matthew 25, uh, we got to verse 10. And while they went to buy, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready, ready went in with him unto the marriage, and the door was shut. And the door was shut, Lord. Afterwards came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's why it also mentions the part of it. That's why it also mentions that there shall be people in national team. Because that's how serious it's going to be. So before that time comes, we gotta be, we gotta be good, man. We gotta be being on our best behavior. That's what it's all about. Best behavior is gonna lead to justification in the soul. When you out here thinking you hard and trying to ruin this thing in the sense of pride, you're gonna find yourself in the dirt. Alright? You're gonna find yourself ash the fuck out in the dirt. That's what you're gonna find yourself. Because the flames are coming, the nuclear missiles are gonna come. And also, if, if that don't hit a nigga, guess what the lace is going to hit from too? And they know this too, man. Yeah, so, if anyone got a free set on there, go on. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5, verse 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, mm -hmm. and put not off from day to day. Mm -hmm. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, mm -hmm. and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. <laughs> And perish in the day of vengeance. And in that security, for what is it? Suddenly the Lord shall come upon you and destroy you. So, in other words, doesn't it also mention that the day the Lord will come suddenly as a thief in the night? Yep. It mentions that too. And it also mentions that the Lord is coming as a thief too. So, this is why, like, again, yeah, I say what I say. We gotta be on our best behavior. We gotta just stick to the scripture. That's why it's known as the scripture. It's a script. We follow the script, then the script will then lead us to life, everlasting, eventually. And speaking about that, somebody give the Proverbs the fourth chapter verse, I think it's verse 14. Proverbs 15, verse 32. He that refuseth instruction ah. despiseth, despiseth his own soul, mm -hmm. but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. Right, getteth understanding. So if you don't want to hear the reproof, excuse me, you don't want to heed to the instruction that you despise your own soul. It's just that simple. A man that loves his soul, a man that that uh, that, that that has love in his heart for himself, while hurting first the foolish, is going to what? Deliver himself to the Lord. He's going to pray unto the Lord, and the Lord is going to deliver him unto the Lord. All right. That's how it's going to go down. And um, I'm gonna, uh, and I'm gonna be just, just in saying this. We got guys in these camps that may very well be um, sensitive to leaders, and they may very well be of the elect too. The Lord might have mercy on them and, and have them follow the right path. All right? That, that's gonna happen. But, you, but just primarily focusing on these leaders, these leaders, they got all kind of hell to, to pretty much pay if they don't repent. Yes, so somebody hit the prophets for in verse 14. Okay. Uh, Proverbs 4 verse 14. Mm -hmm. Enter not into the path of the wicked. I should pop it up a little bit. Uh, verse 11. Okay. Yeah. Proverbs 4 verse 11. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. Mm -hmm. I have led thee in right paths. Mm -hmm. When thou goest, thy step shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. This is the one I get wrong. Let her not go. Mm -hmm. Keep her, for she is thy life. Right. 
the purpose of this right on. So again, we have to we have to um, gain the understanding of the scriptures. And we have to follow the scriptures. Once we gain the wisdom and understanding, and once we keep these things, these things will lead on to life. Again, let's quote the scripture. Um, the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord shall be the stability of God's life and the strength of the Lord is the salvation. That's what it says. And speaking about wisdom, let's even get to the apocryphal. Let's get the book of God. Let's even get the book of things. Um, these stats is 15 or something. I'm going to first check to see what I'm going Again, he that fareth the Lord will do good, and he that hath the knowledge of the Lord shall obtain her. Right. And as a mother shall she meet him and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. Right. With the bread of understanding she will feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the also mentioned in John 7 and 38. That um, whosoever believe on me as a scripture I said, shall flow rivers of living water. On. Verse 4, he shall be stayed upon her and shall not be moved, mm. and shall rely upon her and shall not be confounded. Mm -hmm. She shall exalt him above his neighbors, mm -hmm. and in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth. Lord. He shall find joy and a crown of gladness, mm -hmm. and she shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. Mm -hmm. But foolish men shall not attain unto her. Sinners shall not see her, mm -hmm. for she is far from pride, and men that are liars cannot remember her. Mm -hmm. So when we hold on to this to this knowledge, like I've said before, it's, it's going to give us life. And then in, even into the kingdom, joy. Now there's an even also read in the book of Isaiah 65 that the Lord is going to break her a rejoicing. First of all, that's going to be the first experience of the elect. The elect are going to experience that joy firsthand. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 10 says, I loved her above health and beauty mm -hmm. and chose to have her instead of life. Mm -hmm. And that's why Solomon was the greatest of all time, above all, all those that were considered wise in his time, above the Right? Because he understood the substance of the heavenly promise and the doctrine, which is the truth, which is only with the doctrine of the kind of earth. He understood the, the, uh, the big substance of God. For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. Right. Ooh, for the never. light that cometh out from her never goeth out. Oh, doesn't it also read in the book of Matthew 23? It says, My word shall not. Uh, how does it go? How does it go, man? Uh, it says, Yeah, right. Heavens and earth shall pass away, but my words will not. So the word of the Lord is, is always is, is always active. It's always consistent, current. Just like how the heart is. It's always current. Infinite. Infinite current. So the thing of it is, let's just say the example of the You know, our heart stops beating. Then we, we, we die. Pretty much. So what keeps us alive is, is this word. You know, just like the scripture says that um, drink not the blood because not the blood because the, the light is true. So, they, so to keep the to keep the light, you know, to keep the heart pumping, you know, in a spiritual sense, you need to be the street light. Okay, to keep us alive. Go on, brother. For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. Mm -hmm. All good things together come to me with her, mm -hmm. and unlovable riches in her hand. Right. And that's another key point. All goodness come from her. And an unlovable riches come from her. Now, doesn't it also say, um, that um, we saw the sake of houses and brethren and for sake of lands for my namesake shall receive what is it, a um, hundred from it. Yeah. It says that. So there's going to be an, a great abundance of treasures that the Lord has for his servants because they did the right thing. They kept to the strip of life. Go on. So, what we can do is Solomon. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, and I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. 
and I knew not that she was the mother of them. Right, and I knew, what is it? I knew that she was the mother of all of them, right? Yeah, I, uh, I knew not that yeah. she was the mother of them. Uh, where did you have it? So that's, that's all there is to it. So the elect, they're gonna, they're gonna long enjoy the kingdom of heaven. And they're gonna be able to enjoy the things that they're gonna be able to do in the kingdom, you know? And that's something that we were talking about just a little time oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what's getting ready to be happen. See, these other guys, they read the scriptures, but they don't read the scriptures and you know what I mean. As it is written, blessed are they that read the meaning to understand. They don't really, they can't grasp what they need to They really can't do it. Go on up yeah, Two more, two more, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just to end it off. Yeah. 13 now. And I learned diligently and do communicate her liberally. Right. And I do hide, and I do not hide her rich love. For she is the treasure unto men that never fool, that never faileth. Which they that use become, which they that use become the friend of Yahweh, being commended for the gift that cometh from learning. And that explains why in the book of Revelation it says that we shall see the most time. Because it's going to be by this word that we're going to be brought, brought back to the whole the reason why the Lord got on the cross again is to what? Re reconcile us back to the most high. So if we hold on to this word, we're going to receive salvation, we're going to receive all of the new and all the riches, the kingdom, all of these great things. And also we're going to have that, that direct connection with the most high. That's how that's how substantial this truth really is. But they don't get it. The only thing that they're getting right now. It's the, it's the fake currencies that we all have to defend. It. And it's the value of time and time, especially the American currency. Go on. This is in the precepts of Acts uh, 8, starting verse 17. Mm. Then they laid, laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. Mm. And when Simon saw that through the laying of the hands of the apostles, mm. the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, mm. saying, Give me also this power. That on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. Mm. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, mm. because thou hast thought that the gift of the most high God may be purchased with money. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for doing that, man. You can't see, this is the thing. You can't buy the Holy Spirit with money. You see, all of this stuff was, was brought in faith for due to the sacrifices of the Abishai. And again, this is something that they're not grasping. They're not grasping the fact of, on, on how substantial this truth really is. And they're not grasping the fact that, that how we shall brought the faith for our lives, man. We can sacrifice. That's why we now have the Holy Spirit. This is why we're now in the grave. This is why we're going to what? We're going to lead to our salvation because of these three things. And once again, I have to say, on a negative note, this is why grievous deaths are going to be displayed upon the wicked ass individuals in the street. Read it again, Bubba Bashar. That's a powerful scripture. Right, so this Acts, uh, uh, chapter 8, verse 17, and they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Mm. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles' hands the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast sought in the gift of the Most High God, and he purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. You can't buy the Spirit for money. What the hell do you think you want? Do you think you can do that? You ought to be a low stocking ass wicked to think that. Right? Yeah. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Right. Repent therefore of this wickedness, mm -hmm. and pray that the Most High God, if perhaps the thought of thy heart may be forgiven of thee. Mm -hmm. That's what them niggas gotta do. They gotta repent. Quick. Because if they don't, I'm telling you, man, they're gonna be in the world of hurt. That they won't be able to come out of it when it's all said and done. Because what these guys is doing is just totally. Radical. Charge you for a prayer. Charge them to get a heat from me. The fuck you guys is on it. Damn. I'm not
mean, words can't really describe, and that's why I'm using the F on that, because words cannot describe how, how wicked these dudes are getting at. That's the reason Charlie, he's a new Charlie. Call on your power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, show me. Yo, shut up. Oh, show me. Oh, my gosh. Why is he the same? Why is he the same? So, I mean, yeah, man. So, I mean, the, the thing of it is, you guys have to prepare to be wicked this man. Yeah. You guys going to have to cut it out. There's one more verse that touches on that point, right? It says, um, Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness, and pray that the most thy God if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven of thee, for I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness mm. and in the bond of iniquity. And that's what's going to happen with these things as well. When it's all said and done, they're going to be ashamed of their damn selves, and they're going to have a gall of bitterness. This is down. Roman day and uh, fourth is. You know, there's, a, there's a precept to that as well. That's the most, most that the righteousness of, of the law might be fulfilled in us, who not to walk not after the flesh, mm -hmm. but after the spirit. Yeah. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. For to be kindly minded wow. is death. Right. To be kindly minded is death. And you see these dudes, and you know what I'm gonna say this as well, like I said in the before. These guys are, are necessary. These dudes are on the left hand side to, to demonstrate um, the works of the flesh. The, re the reason why these guys are doing as they may be, yeah, because we can say it's to do with pride, we can say it's to do with the pockets or whatever the case may be. But if you notice, it's all bad shit. And the reason why it's all bad shit because they're under the influence of the flesh. They're not going by the spirit. As the scripture says, the spirit is what? Life. We're going to get, we're going to get into that. Um, read that. Yeah. yeah. For uh, Romans uh, 9 and 6 again, mm. for to be kindly minded is death, mm. but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. There you go. And that's what you want. You want life and peace. So that's, that's what's going to be different. Once you're the righteous, don't just stick to the script. Now with that, um, be Galatians 6 and 7 to verse 8. Read that. Verse 2, verse 2, verse 6. Verse 10. Right. Verse 2, verse 6, verse 10 says, um, Oh, that's the one I'm going to for the love of money is the root of all evil, mm -hmm. and while which some coveted after, mm -hmm. they have erred from the faith mm -hmm. and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Right, and pierced themselves with many sorrows. Going back to what you stress, that they're going to what suffer. They're going to suffer having the form of bitterness because they know the wrongs that they've done. For one, and I'm going to even put this out there too. Bishop and Daniel, and as well as um, on his own, these guys are not stupid. The Lord gave them a gave them a brain that actually works. They able to see what they're doing is wrong. <laughs> you know, so even their own thoughts is condemning them, man. Right. It's also says, blessed is he who, 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 who has not condemned himself. And roughly proud for himself. Right? Because they, they, hey man, the name of the game is salvation. We don't want to be condemned. If we feel like we're condemning the spirit and we don't repent, we're gonna be led to condemnation. As it is, as it also as it is written in scripture, um, a man is what he think of himself to be. So if you feel condemned to the spirit, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be repenting it back to the Lord and bring. Seek and take time for Seek and take time for him. There you go. Put on that one. Put on the Lord from day to day. First Timothy 6 and 10. Mm -hmm. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while his son have coveted after, they have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Mm -hmm. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness. Right, and follow after righteousness, all in self. Follow after righteousness, Bishop of Daniel. Go on. Godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Right. Exactly. Love and patience and weakness to be low. But we'll see if them guys are going to be. I mean, I'll tell you this, man. Those words don't, don't really fit their spirit. I don't think they're going to be, be able to do it. But you never know. Mission with Daniel might be better. We'll have to be able to see that. But I'll reserve, I don't really think it's going to be better. Because some things are going way off guilt. That's just my personal opinion. All right? 
that you got guys, man, charge. I'm gonna keep saying it because this is just totally erratic. It's wicked, man. How you gonna charge people for praying? We're coming to get you for praying. And then to get a heap of name on top of it. That's why, man. Even the Muslims, even the Imams ain't gonna tell tell their congregation to accept. No one does it. The Christian churches don't do that shit. You can go in a Christian church and free. Even though it's a D1 in prayer, but it's free. Okay. Yes, let me see what he said. And we're gonna close out in a minute. 17 years ago. Oh, you know, what you got? Something back on Caleb said earlier. John 16 and 13. How be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, mm -hmm. and he will show you things to come. Right, and he will show you, in other words, that's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He shall glorify me, mm -hmm. for he shall receive of mine, yeah. and he shall, it, he shall show it unto you. All things that the Father have are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. This is Matthew 6 verse 6. Uh, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee open bracket thy father which seeth. Yeah, because um, really, if a brother uh, comes to you and asks for prayer, that's between you, the brother, and the most high. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to have an accounting book like, oh, but where, where's the receipt to show that you paid me so that I can pay for you? That's some bullshit. That's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Because really, the people who need prayer are the people who need, who need prayer. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have a shy saying that you didn't come for the whole, but to them that are sick? Mm -hmm. So, but, let's say someone's in hospital, they've had an accident, and like, Come on, man, you don't charge them like that. It's ridiculous, man. Absolutely that's, ridiculous. That's, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And that's really, and that's really what, what should have been posted on that, that damn website. Is these scriptures over here. Because you don't need to pay the break. That's absolute nonsense. Can I say something, though? Can I say something, though? You know what's even more disturbing? Mm. The congregation actually even paying for it, too. <laughs> even have to look at that. People just. Mm. They're not that blinded to actually say, okay, I'll pay for the prayer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we don't really know if they actually pay for the prayer. Oh, okay. we don't know. Okay. But I mean, like, um, guys got to be thinking like right now. Like, should, should we be following these guys? Or these guys to you hey, so that they can pray for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah, um, we be, uh, what is it, Timothy, not Timothy, it's Titus 1 and Titus chapter 1 verse 15 it says um, unto the pure all things are pure mm -hmm. but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure mm -hmm. even their mind and conscience is defiled yeah. and it has to be it has to be because in order for them guys to teach the belief they teach them without their mind their mind has to be defiled that's what we get the term of Saturday mm -hmm. what is it they may they want to be them you know, so the way you really want to properly teach this word, man, your heart got to be in the right place. You have to have a pure mind. So you can see everything for what it is. The teacher can be able to teach the word. You know, and you know, brother, it's number first. It says, they profess that they know the Most High God. Yes, they sure do. But in works, they deny Him. But in works, they deny Him. So they got the garments on. They got the words to show for. You know that intelligent here and there, but in works by action has the same goals. Um, actions speak louder than words. Go on. Uh, they profess to know that they profess that they know the Most High God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable 
and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Not That's what they are. They're a bunch of reprobate ass Reprobate servants, we should call them. So, I mean, what's abominable? Well, first and foremost, it's abominable to actually err on a false mission. Because according to the law, the second book of the law, um, Deuteronomy 30, that tells you that a guy like that is put out of his mission, sent back to the essence. And then you're charging people to pray. That's a bomb. Saying that this book and that book is uncredited. That's a bomb. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I don't really agree with the book of Paul. This is another book of Paul. You know, certain books that Paul wrote upon. Oh, I don't agree with Paul, period. I don't agree with the book of Mark. That's an abomination. Go on, my brother. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14 and 12. Mm. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, mm. but the end thereof are the ways of death. Right. And that's what's going to be happening to you. They're going to be put together. Because they think what they're doing is man. But like I said, it's not really their fault because they got, they got demons on them. We're just talking about it because we got a, we got a role to play too. We got to mark them which are contrary to the doctrine. That's all this is. But we're just telling y'all, look, if you keep doing what you're doing, whether you're seeing this video or not, guess what, man? You already know what the deal is going to be. You should already know what the deal is going to be. Because everybody knows right from wrong. Even though we're all possessed by spirits, whether you're possessed by the Holy Spirit or not, we all know what's right from wrong. So that's just the deal on that. Any, any else, anybody else got to be more peace up? Again. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and 23, O oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. Right. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Mm -hmm. O oh Lord, <clears throat> correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Jeremiah 10 and 23, yeah. O oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Yeah, because it's not in man to direct his own steps, man. You, every, in this body, in this flesh, you need, you need a, a God, a God. Mm -hmm. you know? That's why you've got all these other fools, God. These other nations, Goyim nations, the he nations, they've got a God. They have got a God. The more you get into it, the more you see that they've got a God. They worship that to his money. We, we all know about them, these how they are, we will find it before humanity. So, but, it's not enough to direct our step. So, yes, for Allah, we have the God, the true God. You know, we serve the true God. And we, we gave us Yehoshai as that role model to follow. Just to simplify it, we, we imitate Yehoshai, which you Christians call him Jesus. No, we, that's, no. No, 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 no. So, that's, a, that's who guides us, right? And the more you get into the spirit of Yehoshai, the more you're under the spirit of knowing well, you know, you're perfect in life, you need to say that. Mm -hmm. That's the right. Yeah, and just, and just like the brother just read, both sides are going to start the steps of the you know what I mean? So, as you, know, as you said, um, that's why it's a blessing, and we should keep, I don't want to use the term lucky, but we should be, be considered honorable, honored that we've been chosen to do the right thing, and Lord willing, we're still in that, that right path. Go on, brother. Right, this is a few verses. This is Philemon 1, verse 1. Paul, a prisoner of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our dearly beloved uh, and fellow laborer, mm -hmm. and to our beloved Aphia, mm -hmm. and to Archippus, if I'm saying that correctly, our fellow soldier, and to the church of thy house, grace to you and peace from the Most High God our Father mm -hmm. and the Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. There's the point. I thank my God making mention of thee always Ooh. in my prayers. Yeah. See? That's it. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, you don't have to say anything more to me. But what, but what I will mention is that Paul also said that he was a prisoner. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're a prisoner, you can't do what you want to do. You can't get up whatever you want to get up out of bed. Or take a nap or whatever. No. You're, you're actually on the orders of, of the CEOs. So doesn't the scriptures also say that um, what is it on? Be subject unto your masters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Servants be servants, subject to your masters. Yeah. 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 
to the forward and, and also to, to, you know, to the weak something like that. So that's how we gotta, we gotta, we gotta learn how to conduct ourselves in, in the right manner. Whether you're a lesser brother or whether you are a, a, a brother that's been in this thing for a while. And in that, you better know what you're teaching. Because that's also something you don't, that's also something that what you don't want to do is, is teach the wrong, which that can lead to, to, to a great deal of destruction. Because that, that comes into sacrifice. Yeah. Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them that which cause division, yeah. and offense is contrary to the doctrine, yeah. which ye have learned, and avoid them. Not in the void. So we're going to tell you what to do, but if you don't listen, um, then we're not going to get really upset about if you don't listen. We're just going to eventually, as the scripture says, um, in the book of Revelations, the last, I think it's the last chapter, it mentions that, um, yeah, let him be filthy still, and he that is clean, let him be clean still, something like that. All right, so we're just going to avoid the We need to avoid Okay, just like um, 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 uh, uh, Yikwa, the Yaikwa, the elder Yaikwa back in the day, he said if the nigga can't get him, you know, that's how it's going to go down. Like, we're not going to be sweating the doctrine. We're sweating the doctrine. Y'all need to get correct. Go on, brother. This is um, Titus 3 and verse 9. For avoid foolish questions and genealogies. Yep. And contentions and strivings about the law. Right, and contentions and strivings about the law. That goes into that spirit of debate. We're not going to be debating anybody on law. We're going to just tell you, look, this is what this is. Either consent or you die. Point blank in the story. Go on. For they are unprofitable and vain. Mm -hmm. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition rejects. Yeah, that's what's going to be happening. You're going to have to move forward and reject your ass. Because all this debating it again, like you, like you just read it, these two, there's no profitability to them. Like these guys in um, like these these guys in Hyde Park, um, what do you call them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And them niggas in Harlem as well, debating debating within doctrines. That shit don't lead to nowhere. You ain't going nowhere with that. What? So you're gonna listen to these guys debate, or you're gonna go on the debate to find the truth? You ain't gonna find shit. Again, it's still profitable. So, see, what we're doing is, is, is profitable. And what is profitable for is for the sake of our own salvation, to the saving of the souls of people. That's what this is profitable for. But what these guys are doing serves no purpose. And even them teaching the, the, the incorrect doctrine serves no purpose. Actually, it does serve a purpose. It serves their purpose where it's going to lead to them, to their destruction. Go on. Knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. Mm. Uh, this is Romans 13 verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. Mm -hmm. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Whosoever... Oh. It's like they call themselves. They call themselves the Sakari. And the Sakari was what? Zealots that believe in the taking down of the Roman system. But you see, we have to be harmless, we have to be wise. We gotta use wisdom and understand. Because at the end of the day, we can't have the mindset of yeah, fuck these devils, we're gonna take these devils out. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go run up to 10 down and shoot them the see, We ain't doing shit like that. Because we're frail and we're weak as we're, we're, well, it's frail as we're weak as we are. Okay? The Howard Shah is gonna do justice on these devils. And the Lord is going to give us the power. Once we got the power, then we'll get busy. But we ain't going to be moving stupid. Come. It's a lot of rising to the front. Read it again, brother. Right, Romans 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, mm -hmm. for there is no power but of the Most High. Mm -hmm. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Come. And that's what he was telling them, Zalman. Look, wait. Basically, what he was saying is wait upon the Lord. Because the Most High is the one that set this power up. Set these men in, in the positions of, in, of power to go all the year. And serve the Lord in the way that you're supposed to. Okay? So that's that's that's, that's just pretty much it. I mean, you know, I don't really need to say anything other than that. The thing of it is, man, um, we just gotta continue to do the right thing. 
and these other individuals, man, they have the arm of heaven. We're going to keep saying it. Even though most of us feel like they're not going to repent, but we're going to keep saying it anyway, because it has to be said. Just like, for example, the whole MOTV prophecy, we keep going over it time and time again. We don't have to keep doing this, but we do it for the sake of, for the sake of prophecy is concerned. And also, as well, just about to forget, we also do it so that we can give warning as the watchmen that we are supposed to be, as we were called this day. So that's all I have to say, we all have to say. That we want to give all the praises and the glory to the Most High and the Son. We double honors to that apostles of the great Muslim, the tortoise, the day. the day, and how about Shem El Shad Rakhatan, 244,000 and the one quarter of the prophet. Shalom. Shalom.